Alright. How'd you been watching the It's time for... But also, I... Something is up with my headphones. Just make sure that I'm not connected to anything else right now. Come on. Uh, I might have to relaunch. No, it's working now. Okay, cool. And just hop into... Hop into a call in case anyone shows up. See if anyone shows up right now. Okay. Got some things ready to automatically cover up. Any cords that might show up. And we'll get going. Okay. So I'll probably die as soon as I get into the server and there's nobody on right now. Oh, oh. Huh? Huh? Oh, come on. I have to... What? To update the mod pack. It's ridiculous. Okay. Well, let's try that real quick. Uh, this is anticlimactic. Just see. Change version. And they... Updated it again. Okay. Cool. Uh, it should take a minute maximum. That was a very amusing thing to have happened. Great. Great. Okay. So the overrides and worst part is, now I'm going to have to wait for it to relaunch too. Because, if... Hello, it... It's in the middle of updating because my mod pack was outdated for the server. And I updated it just a couple of days ago, so... Because they decided to update things again. So... How are you doing? It's good to see you. This is not exactly the best way for this to have happened. But it would be really funny if the server was actually hadn't updated and updating it just further broke things. And now there are a bunch of versions of the mod pack for some reason. Uh, okay, alright. Let's launch that and hope that it works. I... okay. Okay. Losing... losing my mind. Losing my heart, my soul, my brain. Lots of things. So hopefully it'll boot up now. I'm waiting for it to boot. I guess it might be possible that... No, it's it seems to be booting. I was going to say it might be possible that I might not be able to boot it in the middle of a stream due to computer resources, but it doesn't seem to be that way. Should be going now. But I've got a bar on screen that hides where the coordinates show up on the minimap. Because, oh yeah, it was probably due to my computer. Because even though I have a good computer, this mod pack takes a bit to launch up. So usually I like to have it start up, well, usually it's two times, start up before I start the stream. But that does not appear to be, well, it's not a thing you can do if you have to update it in the middle of the stream because things just did not work. So hopefully after some time I can actually get in and then of course actually joining the server will take time too. I, it's certainly a way for this to happen, and it says it's at this much Minecraft progress, and it's fun and I like this pack, but it's a bit much. Especially when things don't work as intended, and oh, what? Huh? It showed the startup screen. Yeah. Um, excuse me? Oh well. It. Uh, this is a little obnoxious. 
It might be an issue with a first boot. I don't hear the music anymore. This might have crashed. Good god. Good god. Okay, it's working. Working, working. And... Oh, because the server is... God damn it, I literally said update the mod pack. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I... Let me just check Curse Forge. Just because... You've got to be kidding me. Literally said... Oh, good god. The update system is completely non-functional here. And I... What? Okay. Just a second. Yeah, it does not let me clear out a profile. It's... This app is stupid. Okay. Which means I need to re-enter the... Completely re-enter the server IP. Give me a second. I swear. Actually, let's... Set something to hide the game screen real quick. Second. Go to my settings. Should have done this a little bit before. Go to my hotkeys. I swear. I swear. And hide. Hide Minecraft. And hide and show Minecraft are the same thing now. Okay. So that's just a toggle. Okay. Cool. Let me just check. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I... It is what it is. Let me see... Ooh, ooh, hmm. That's fair. I, I don't blame you. It's... You are in Italy. Connect a server? You have got to be kidding me. The scuffed garbage I've ever experienced. Let me see. Edit and. Did I type the IP in wrong? I did not type the IP in wrong. What's happening? I. This game might. This game might hate me. This game might legitimately hate me. Apparently. I... What in the goddamn? What? It... Oh, okay. I did something wrong. I did do something wrong. Put in a period instead of a colon because I'm blind. Okay. And... There we go. Let's see if we can join it now. It only took... Almost ten minutes. <sighs> Which is gonna mean some stuff. Probably I'm dead. Some monster probably killed me while I was spawning in. That tends to happen here. It's loading terrain. It's loading terrain now. And my mouse wheel is spinning. It's exciting too. Okay. Okay. <sighs> yeah, because usually what happens is since it takes about half a minute to load in and it spawns your player in before you actually load things it oftentimes kills you you oftentimes wake up dead now, i having to update things having problems with the ip but that's my fault for being stupid and the big thing is that it seems that every time you do a new update it takes a bunch of time to actually load in for the first time after each update which 
Okay, there we're going. Oh, okay. All right. Well, here we are. I know that's cousin's house, and well, there was a house here at one point. Is it gone? It might be gone. Well, I've still got. No, they're still here. Okay. What do they have? Hmm. I actually don't feel like robbing people. At least not right now. Hmm. Okay. Well, I can come back and try robbing people in a bit. Scroll of Mercy. Medic Cylinder. Hmm. Main thing is, after I figure out what... I have to figure out where the... It would be disadvantageous. That's why. There's something... Oh, a wandering trader. Well, there are a couple of ores in this floating island. Hello! Hello. Let's chop down some ores. Salt ammoniac. That's nice. Take stone level, I think. That requires stone level. Well, I'll just mine out a bit around spawn, get a number of resources, and then I'm... Oh, going to... Teleport out so that nobody else knows where I am. That's the idea, at least. So as you see right now, I've got toggles up so that whenever I hit a map, it'll hide the cords. So that, oh, well, okay. About journey map, whatever. Yeah, it'll hide the cords, which is nice. Paint offers. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to think it is. So there are a few more things I can harvest around here, and then I'm going to make my daring escape. The nice thing is, you can just do that to teleport to spawn whenever, and oh, that's, oh, bloodstain, all right. Can I break that? Oh, and it... Oh, okay. I would need a way to actually harvest that blood, it seems. That's a... Oh, well, you need a key. Oh, so they... They should... There's a toggle that allows you to loot other people's tombstones. I need to tell the server owner to turn that on. Is otherwise there. He actually wanted to, I'm not sure he's gotten around to doing it, turn off a land claiming so that some level of player conflict would actually be meaningfully possible. Which would make me very happy. Because I thrive on strife and pain and suffering, but he, there are other people who would not like that, and I wonder if they might have put in a good word with him to make that not happen yeah oh and oh just straight up block of raw tin okay suppose we could pick up some tin along the way coal would also be nice let's just harvest everything and spawn and oh oh that's not good what just okay something just happened i did i get a quest i Things briefly froze up a little, which was not my preference. Also, that's right, let's put a torch in my offhand so I can see things. Dawncraft had that too, which was nice. Let's just harvest the ores in the area and then leave. And yeah. The big thing is, I wonder if I could. Well, I could be really, really mean. I. But there's nobody. Nobody I dislike enough. Hacker? What do you mean by hacker in this context? What does she mean by hacker in this context? Well, hmm. I suppose we can just get a little bit of experience, though. It won't be good for much. Oh, so by hacker, you just mean able to operate with flashcards. It... The level of computer knowledge that people have these days, and by level of computer knowledge, I mean complete and utter lack of computer knowledge, is always just utterly disheartening to me. It, years ago, 
just normal people were torrenting, and now people don't even know how their file system works. If you ask the average Zoomer kid what an application is, or how to open an exe file, they, they don't... Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed my boomer rant. We need to make... Can I put a furnace on stick? I bet I can. Let's just make... Well, I've got a... Do I have a... No, oh, wait. Where'd my crafting table on a stick go? Huh? A humanoid flesh. Wait, yeah. I had a crafting table on a stick. Well, whatever. Obviously, some things have gotten lost in the... Lost in the process. And, okay, I can still make that. Frightening. Yeah, there we go. So let's make another pickaxe. One stick. Stone pick. And I wonder if I could make a furnace on a stick. That'd be fun. It. Oh, oh. That's funny. Furnace on a. Uh, on a stick. What can you put on a stick? On a stick. Crafting table, a loom on a stick, grindstone, cartography table, stone cutter, smithing table, anvil, chipped anvil. So there are limits to what you can put on a stick. That makes sense. What time is it? Let me see. Coal ore, and it. Again, it's. I wonder what I'll do with all this coal. Oh, oh, okay. What are you going to do? Do you have Cubic Ninja? I'm sure you've heard of the whole Cubic Ninja thing, right? And let's mine that up. And, uh, yep, we can make that little jump. Not that it's too hard. Cubic Ninja is a very mediocre 3DS game. Whose sole claim to fame is that its QR code level scale level sharing system was so broken that you could use it to basically crash the 3DS to the point where it would execute arbitrary code that is basically do whatever you want, which includes being able to do homebrewing. Yeah, it incompetence can be weaponized at times. It can be quite powerful if used correctly. I, you know, I think I could sleep in somebody else's bed. It would be a bit much to steal somebody else's bed. And, oh my goodness. It crashed. Conflicts with screen recording software? Excuse me? Oh my goodness. Let me just, let me look into that. Conflicts with screen recording software. I playing modded out of date graphics driver. Exception out. Access violation. Have allocated enough RAM. Wrong read write. Still in Java. Huh. Involving Java. Well, I guess I need to install Java. That's ridiculous. And yeah, that makes sense. Uh, it's time to install Java. Okay. Okay. Uh, Windows Online. Windows Online. Yeah, the game is very, very broken. To the point that I might need to install Java. It's good to see you, though. As in manually install Java, which actually, I'm kind of surprised that I realized that I hadn't ever installed Java on this computer. So, uh, how are you doing? But yeah, it crashed and it said it was quote-unquote conflicts with screen recording software. All those bars up there are bars that show up when I press certain map showing prompts. Yeah, first of all, I needed to update things, then I... Problems re putting the IP back in. I'm doing great. Happy to hear you're doing well. But hopefully installing Java should make this work. I'm praying. 
but basically right now I'm mining ores around spawn and then I'm going to do a random teleport using a random teleport command to get far far away where people will not be able to see me hopefully or at least not randomly find me unless I'd like to be found because okay well it again it's most most computers should have a built-in PDF reader that works for everything you need other than other than presumably digital signing which is rarely relevant enough that that's the only reason that Adobe Acrobat has any real reason to exist signing PDFs which just happens once every two or three years for me but yeah the idea is and I was specifically asked by Dom who owns the server to play the villain because there are a lot of people and someone needs to do it but this is going to mark the third time that I have to boot up the server I mean boot up all the mods today which is certainly something okay come on this first I booted it up and yeah yeah I'm excited it He's still messing around with some configs, but he specifically said that he wanted to turn off FTB, Feed the Beast Chunks, because it allows you to make chunks completely unmodifiable by other people. Yeah, that, that's not normal. What kind of computer do you even have? Is it a Chromebook? I swear, do you have a Chromebook? If you do, I feel really sorry for you. But, essentially, he wants to make, to make it more possible for people to mess with other people, so I have my ideas. Okay, then it, I presume it would not be a Chromebook then. But, okay. So why did it say it didn't connect? Did I go in too quick? I guess it's possible. Flips 360 degrees. Oh, oh, I think that, think that. I, I knew some people back in high school who had... Usually it was school-oriented, school-connected computers that were ThinkPads, but I've seen those around before, and they have the... Does it have the little joystick knob in the middle of the keyboard, the little red thing that lets you move stuff around. Is that... Is someone mowing the lawn outside? Okay, so, but you mean touch screen feature, or... Yeah, I... Usually, when I've seen Lenovo ThinkPads, in the middle of the keyboard, there's been this... Probably between, I don't know, TYGH or YUHJ, I forget, but... Somewhere in the middle of the keyboard, there... It tends to be a red joystick that allows you to control the mouse. And it... This is the second time I've had to join the server. Because the last time, like I said, it crashed. And it said that screen recording software was conflicting. And normally it's... I looked it up and it said it was probably Java. You have no red joystick. Have mercy. May, may God have mercy on your soul. Lenovo laptop with no red joystick. Pity. But I, it says joining world, so the big question is, a number of times when I'm loaded into the server, sometimes to test, and yep, exactly, it was night, so I died. Great. It's all the mods 9, and the whole pack, so it's a lot of things. A whole lot of things. It, it's a bit, that's what's going on. I don't care that much about joysticks, they are cool though. It's a villager ghost. It's because it unlocks my gravestone, which, as of now, contains all the items I dropped on death, and also is in inaccessible to any players other than myself. And, of course, all of the experience is gone that I got from mining. This is literally so sad. So the big thing is, I am going to find someone else's bed and sleep in it. And that should allow me to make it daytime. Yeah, yeah, it, the big thing is that there's a gamer we can set, a toggle that you can set in server settings that allows you to open or break other people's tomb zones. It is not enabled right now. Alright, so we have Cobble's bed as our spawn point now, I suppose. So, okay, and now he doesn't need his invisibility potion anymore, so I think I've mined more or less all I can mine from here. So I think, what is that thing? That's a... What is that thing? Some sort of desert enderman? Did he just blow everything up? Well, tack... 
Well, I, I regret to inform you that that is one of my big ideas for how to cause problems on this server. Get people into a position of subordination to me and then force them to pay taxes. Okay. So I am going to... How often does... Okay, it's a 10 second cooldown. That's basically nothing, but... I'm gonna hide the screen real quick. So that... And that should hide it. I can do a random teleport and get things started. TP random... Let me see. Did they turn off random orb? They might have turned off random orb, I swear. I... I might have to play nice for a bit. Okay, so he's just causing problems and... Okay, it took some time for that old and... Oh, that's reset. Okay, RTP, RTP. And that should work. So let's re-disable that and RTP. Looking for random location. And there we go. We found a decently far away. I... Uh, uh, mm, this is decent, actually, so let me clear out my, clear my chat messages. One million small rules, and, well, was he the mod or the admin, or, okay, so now we can see things again, and in case anyone's lurking, they can't exactly see where I am, but. Actually, just a second. Let me remove a death point real quick. Death waypoint. And, oh my goodness. Can I find my, find my waypoints? Let's remove that death waypoint. There we go. And there is a temple nearby. Oh, that's really, really cool. That could be an incredible base idea. Oh, but that's right. I need to... Get rid of that black box, because that one shows up when I plus press F3, so that's different. Okay, three other two. Oh, but in the end, it it's fun when people set rules, as long as they don't have a real enforcement mechanism that a mod might have. But okay, we're here in a jungle. All these bushes, I like this place. Cocoa growth 50. Are there any more growing cocoa, but... The question is, what's going to be inside this? I should have found her stolen a bed. That's the thing, but... I actually really like this Aztec temple-type area. A fire pit. Oh, Stargate Journey. Oh, so this is based off of Stargate. That's interesting, but... The main thing is... There aren't really a lot of mountains nearby. Well, there's that. Terrified while being one of the moderators. It really? It That's just interesting. So I presume that the original moderator was keeping them on basically to have a crony, maybe? Let's use our crafting table and a stick. Said it won't make a huge difference. Can make an axe and chop down some trees and get a little settlement started. Main thing is should probably set a home here. Because I can set my home and... Oh, I just dropped. It was green tea leaves. Food and farming. I didn't know tea leaves could drop from jungle trees. So I guess we could take a few more mature cocoa beans and maybe start farming them. Question is, okay, and this is terracotta. Oh, so it was just more drama with you being a mob friend. I... that does not surprise me. High grass plant and... Well, that's really high grass. Aura bloom, nature's aura. So here's a cave... So luscious surroundings. What does that mean? Enough aura to cause positive imbalance. It... well, if he was an admin, I'd presume he was being serious, yeah. Which is... Kind of the wrong attitude to have as an admin in a lot of cases. So we got... I think the best way to do this would to be make, to make a little hidey hole in this cave for now. Especially since I'm running out of space and I really should make a chest. So where... The best spot to be... Oh wow. That sucks. Sorry to hear that. So let's... Find our way in. The big thing is that there's a dungeon tower over there. 
there is a rather significant chance, honestly, that if I try to mine down, I'll end up inadvertently running into the dungeon. Well, we'll see. But, as I was saying, one of the issues is... I don't have a bed, I don't know where I could find sheep, and I don't want to have to just kill spiders to make a wool right now. My question is, there was a bed in that guy's house, and I like him too much to steal his bed, but I really wonder where he got sheep. I guess one thing I could do is actually, I'm decently far from spawn in a random, yeah, yeah. Well, she said that she never tried it again, that's the thing. So, we may be in an unfortunate situation here where Minecraft is ruined for someone forever. And my... Okay, my torches were in bad hands. So, we can make a little door real quick. That's not a huge problem. One thing, though, is... First, we should make a chest. Acacia chest. No, it just makes a normal chest. Okay. Comfortable download Minecraft illegally. And how did it... Did you name yourself Porco Dio or something? Okay, and this... Chest looks a little, we a little weird somehow. Don't know what it is. Okay. We can... All the translations. Let's check out more of this. Silent Gear. Lahotsky. The beginning. Craft... 2x2 two two crafting grid, stick, pick, stone age, exploration, and a loot. Apotheosis, spell scrolls, loot chest, teleporting around for a waystone and a warp stone. Okay, collected and placed. And enchanted. Do they have backpacks in this mod pack? Let me see if they have backpacks. And they do have backpacks. I got a lot of use out of these in Dawncraft. Okay. So string and... String, chest, leather, but where am I going to get leather, is the question. Let's just put most of this stuff in right now. I don't need a very complicated inventory management system right now. Oh, wow. But it... I, I swear, you end up around... I, I've thought about doing Cobblemon, if you're familiar, which is the one that's... Pokemon, it's basically new Pixelmon in that the models are more of a Minecraft style instead of just 3D ripped. Because with Pixelmon, some of the early ones were very Minecraft style, sort of. But eventually they became just models ripped straight from the game and it was a bit less interesting, frankly. And that was also around the time that they got the C&D from Nintendo. So it kind of put a damper on things. The question is, how can I craft an Arsene Book spell book? Book. I mean, tome, tome. Wait, spell, spell. This takes, now the spell book, and it takes, okay, it just takes iron. Okay, oh, and you can dye it, too. So once I get iron, that would be a good opportunity, and... There is that cave over there. I mean, that dungeon over there, which could be a good idea to loot. The big issue with that is... Like I said, I don't have a bed yet, so if I die right now, I'm dead. So let me see, more acacia wood, let's craft myself some, craft myself a door, so I can, wait, what was, what was this? Acacia pillar trim. That's fair, I, I'd like to say the same thing about my time in theater, though I'm not sure I really can. I, I don't like the face this door has out. I think I'm going to switch it to the other side. And there we go. Oh, it's raining. It's pouring. One might say that the old man is snoring. Well, it, it's mostly just stories about various people of emotionally abusing other people, so... Okay, the main question is how far down do I want to dig to mine? Once I do, it's, it's a start. It's definitely a start. But we've still got wood out there that I can use to Let's get sticks for torches. Well, it... I... I don't know. And that makes me sad. 
So let's just combine these stone picks to make a slightly higher durability stone pick, and that is how you repair things that aren't enchanted. It does work on enchanted things too, but it gets rid of the enchantment so let's just get rid of this little cool note in my house oh oh wow that is more cell ammoniac theurgy but the question is just then what is theurgy what am i going to do with this oh oh uh oh because you don't want an apology from them is it that bad or do you want to continue in your hatred Suppose it's your choice. Okay, so... Let me see. Saul Ammoniac. What do you do with that? Shift show more. Control show usage. Accumulator to be used as a solvent. Flux emitter. Digestion bat. Exaltation. Tears of matter. Common and rare. Okay, so this is an alchemy mod. An alchemy vat. Presumably do some transmutation. It's an interesting concept. Let's keep on moving. So I suppose the only thing I can really do is, well, craft a few more pickaxes and start mining. Well, I do have that on a stick, but the main question, of course, is just going to be, how am I going to... Flexible 2. I do have some sugar cane, which is nice. That'll be good for paper, but the question is, where can I find some water with which to grow it? So probably turn some of this wood into more sticks. I've got a lot of coal, so... Oh, and... Oh, that's nice. You can instantly craft sticks with logs. I didn't even think about that. That's fair. Oh, oh. Yeah. So you have to set your boundaries. That's understandable. Sabo. And of course, this is my friend's flesh. Which, eventually, Evil Craft will allow me to make it an infinite food source. So I think I'll get around to doing that eventually. So I can just eat my friend for food. Well, to be fair, I'll also be able to completely obviate the need for food eventually by... Oh, the big thing is putting a bunch of witches in a little cage and having... Draining their health with a magic spell. But, I guess the question is, which one is more evil? Stop! Stop talking about cake verse. What do I, what do I have to do to make you stop talking about cake verse? Okay. Oh my goodness, you are not going to corrupt more people. Well, you are, but it doesn't mean I'm happy about it. Oh no, oh no. It's... It's like vampires? If... You can't make me explain it if you're the one who brought it up. You made your bed, you lie in it. Especially since I don't even have a bed right now. But, okay, imagine if... Vampire fiction, romantic vampire fiction... With all of the appeal taken out of it. It's not... B basically, the idea is that instead of vampires and normal people, you have forks and cakes. And forks... Well, forks, normal people, and cakes. And... If you... I will not whine about you explaining it, as long as you are willing to explain it. I... That is your choice, your purview. You can do whatever you like. But normal people, forks and cakes, and forks find every part of the body of a cake irresistible in the food sense. They... it's the tastiest thing ever. And it's not even a question of survival, it's just it tastes really good. And... It... I saw someone do some art that was basically trying to make it fit into a vampire paradigm. And that's what made me realize that it was literally just vampires but stupider. It... I was not under the impression that the point of it was comedy, but... I guess that's understandable. And oh, it opens to the outside. Oh, that was lag. Let's get our sulfur. What do I do with it? And that's real crafty born. Well, it... Maybe because you're a fork. And you find the idea of eating people hilarious. You're you're the only real world fork. I I would I would believe it, quite frankly. So continue mining this out. So we're very, very close to the cliff wall. I No, it's 
it's a fan fiction thing, and it's like Omegaverse, and it's just names describing people's roles. Okay. I that would be funny. It, it would be funny if they were real forks. And that would make it kind of a D&D &D thing, where there were fork mimic people or something. Fiction needs more mimics. Okay. And... I... This might be a bit of a spoiler, but are there mimics in Baldur's Gate 3? I mean, you would know more than me. Okay. And... Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you're a fork mimic. Actually, you're a... You're a fork human mimic. Yeah, a fork pretending to be human, and I... Well, this is probably just going to be a temporary base for me, but... I need more... sticks. I... You opened your... You open yourself up to this kind of criticism. When you const... It... Biting, biting is very, very close to eating. The difference, the difference between biting and eating something is follow through. All you're doing is conveying the fact that you can't commit. Kind of shameful. So, let's go down and start some mining. The question is, let me just see. What are those mining layers in all the mods? Do you not invest mining layer? Wow level for mining. If your early game caves your friend, mining dimension. Huh. Oh! Click on ores, sometimes it shows a world level distribution. So where's iron? Wait, so... Who started the conversation? Yeah, yeah, you started the conversation. Okay, so where is... Oh, world gen, so... Maximum at... Y237, Y14, but also... Oh, actually... 234... 61. Best one would actually be... Let me see. Oh, come on. This is tough. Raw iron. Cannibalist. It's just cannibal. It's just cannibal. I'm not a... Closeted cannibal. What do you even mean by that? Oh, lightning. That's exciting. Seems as if... Best spot would be... 48 and 46... So 13 or so would be good. Yeah. Just like the like the Imagine Dragon song. You can thank me for that. Don't thank me. It's an awful song. So well, if, if there are people if there are Imagine Dragon super fans in chat right now, I sincerely apologize. So I will mine down and aspire until I get to around Y level 13 or so. Oh, oh, I did ask about Mimics, but I didn't ask about Fork Mimics. The reason we talked about Cake First is because you started trying to call me a fork, and I was desperately denying the allegations. It's not exactly a pleasant thing to be. Well, it... It... You, you know how I am. I'm, I'm self-sacrificing. At least I like to be. I would, I would much rather be a cake than a fork. It means I, I don't have to be the one eating someone. I can never live with myself. So, let me just see, I... Chords are... Y level 69, okay. Keep on going, did I... Okay, that bar is gone, I have to manually turn that bar off. I, I'll take it. I'd be happy to find out. Frankly, it would be funnier that way. Because if they are in the game, and I don't know where, I will be constantly second-guessing every single chest. And I think that would be quite funny. Oh, right, I can just check my... Wait, so let me see the ore distribution. Oh, we got copper. Let's see the ore distribution again. Ore kid. And it was, yeah, at Y level. 13, 14. Around 16 or so would be a good place to mine down. Hmm. Let's stay around the spire. Oh, we got copper. I hear skeletons, and I'm wondering if there's a cave nearby. I... That's right, I should make... A tiny coal. That's cute. I should just make a stone sword. Right now, so I have some means to defend myself. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, I said... Oh, oh, so... 
maybe they aren't any. Or maybe you're just trying to keep me on my toes. That's scary. Yeah, it... So I'm, I'm forced to live with the doubt. I'll never know anything. Okay, so let's block this back up. Hmm. Come on, keep going, and... Oh, and that Jasper. That's just a new kind of rock. Okay, I like that. That could be a fun building material. Depending. Oh my goodness. To say that with the Kalmoji is sociopath behavior. Well, it's, it's your, it's your, it's your decision. Okay, cosmetic armor, trust slot, and let me see. Ah, uh, okay. So we can use this to make it look as if we never have armor on, even when we are wearing armor. I like that. But, like I said, I might have mentioned this before, but I should be, oh my goodness, and of course, here's the skeleton. Hello, come on, I... Oh my goodness. Oh, an oil? Oil? Okay. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Crude oil. And what is that? What kind of infernium essence? Okay. Glow lichen. I did survive. I'm happy I survived, but we struck black gold. So whenever I feel like it, I can theoretically go in and, well, first I... That's right, I don't have any food on me right now. That's not good. The other thing- oh, it's on hard mode. It- some people were complaining about that before, but I- I think it's on hard mode. Have to check. But I'm pretty sure. That- hmm. Gonna be a little more complicated then, and it's right around there. Well, it- isn't that part of the fun? Main thing is... Oh, that makes sense. I didn't even think about it, but of course there's a skeleton there. It's literally a, literally a tar pit. Okay. So, it's taking longer to dig down than I might have thought, but get our mines started eventually. Oh, shale. So we got blue rock, we got red rock. It's quite pretty. But a zombie somewhere in... Oh, that... You know, it's your prerogative, but... I think you're you're denying yourself the capacity to live. It takes a bit of bravery. Oh, and wait, it... Oh? Oh, we got... Is that sculpt down there? That might be a bit much. Let me just see how I'm gonna get down here. Oh, touchpad on PC. That's scary. Oh, well, there's deep slate down there, but I... Hmm. The big thing is, is that if I do my set home here... I'm not, gonna, I'm not sure I'll be able to change my home out. Change. Okay, Dell home, Dell home. So I can delete homes, that's good. So I can set a home spawn point over here. And I hear something, that's not good. So what that means is that whenever, oh well it's daytime now. Whenever I die, I can just teleport back here through some means. And I, What is that noise? What is that godforsaken noise? Uh, it's not in here, which is good. Heal up a little, put some stuff away, all these funny rocks. Yeah, there are a lot of weird mobs in this mod. But we can put that away, put the copper away. I, well, first of all, I could actually make a furnace. Kind of can't believe I didn't even make one. Take that, and that was another stone, cobblestone chain. How does that even work in a physical sense? Stone Age, let's put that in there. Check, quest will. Stone Age, should be a problem to break. Better ores like iron. Fuel for a furnace, okay. Charcoal, oh, tiny charcoal, wooden logs, renewable resource. One item per piece, no more. Oh, that's what tiny coal does, okay. Let's just do that quest real quick in that case. We can make eight of those. Oh, but. Actually, what we should do then is smelt. Let's make one tiny coal. And use one of those tiny coals to smelt one piece of charcoal. Just get that quest done. Curse. I I can kind of see that. Copper and ore hammers and drawer upgrades. Craft vanilla materials and m runs on iron. Makes sense. Sick ore doubling, ore hammer. 
Into two dust? Mod occultism. Interesting. Warhammer one raw ore into two dust, smelt it into ingots, doubling your ingot output. Huh. That's a good option. Just see ore hammer. Ore hammer. Make that out of you can make it out of iron, also out of copper. Copper is the least. So a block of copper and three sticks. I have a good amount of copper. And oh right, to make task complete charcoal. That would Charcoal, and if we break it down to tiny charcoal, will we... No, no, that was charcoal. Tiny charcoal. Wait, what? Oh, and right, we can switch the recipe. Nice. And fuel for a furnace. Okay, so we didn't need to get everything at once, but had to get everything at different times. And oh, that's straight to the end. Wow. Getting magical and Ars Nouveau. Basic iron tools. My plan for the villain arc is... Not to say too much, but... I've got a number of plans. Mahot Sky is a mod that allows, lets you do magic. It's inspired by fate stuff mainly. There are some other things. There's a bit of overlord, but it's mostly fate. You can make a big magic circle that applies potion effects to everybody in it. So basically, I'd set it up, make it unbreakable or inaccessible by putting a bunch of unbreakable blocks that you can make with security craft around the magic circles to mean that make it so people can't deactivate the magic circle and then just poison people around spawn or something, set up magic circles in inhabited areas to just, I don't know, cause problems, but one other option is, and this would be evil, they actually added Draconic Evolution in the recent update, which is an infamous mod that just adds a lot of really, really crazy endgame stuff, and that does not even do all that much attack damage. Yeah. Staff of Power, that also... The damage these do are not comparable to some other modded stuff, but the armor, the armor of Draconic Evolution is hilariously overpowered. It actually allows you to survive void damage, which is important because the boss is, the mod's boss, the Chaos Guardian, actually deals void damage and therefore can kill you even in creative. Which is certainly an idea. Let's actually make that ore hammer then. It's an idea. So two of these down and then two tiny coals. But essentially that means that it's pretty ridiculous armor. As long as you have power for it, you just actually cannot die. But it's powered by electricity. So I could use that as a way to just make myself unkillable and then go around killing people. That's pretty boring. The big thing is that as part of the mod pack, you have to make a Draconic Reactor, which is, well, let's say, basically a nuclear reactor, but it also, it's very, very volatile, and when it malfunctions, it creates a 300 block radius explosion that adds lava to the crater. You can also make nukes in this mod pack. Uh, those are harder to... Infinity nuke to your poor. It can just blow things up and oh, it's a tool. Infinity nuke next here. And at maximum, maximum. Yeah, this goes up to 259 radius, which is an interesting idea, but it's not as good as just the basic draconic reactor when it fails. Yeah, it would be. That said, I the people on this server are people I know in real life. So I might not want to be too silly with it okay so honestly i've got enough let's make another furnace there's really no reason not to now it it's fun to cause problems sometimes at least it's fun to cause problems it's not as fun to endure consequences let's put in two tiny coal to avoid any kind of waste and this should be enough to make a basic ore hammer which would be pretty nice. Eventually, I'll be able to get a spell that allows me to make a spell that allows me to smell things in Ars Nouveau, which would be rather nice, to say the least. It, well, nukes are fun. Especially if the people getting blown up aren't you. And even then, it can be kind of fun. So I, let's set my home to right here. Right here. Set. Um, 
A. Okay. Home set. Okay, it didn't show chords, so I don't need to... It... Is that Kurumi energy? What do you say that that's Kurumi behavior? Now, I... I shouldn't act too stupid. I can act a little stupid, but not too stupid. Okay, so we got a couple more pieces, and oh, wait, I put the wrong nu number in there. Okay, so I did waste a little bit, but should be able to make our first ore hammer now out of copper, which it's kind of the only thing copper is all that useful for, so at least right now. So let's put this down and actually... It's in fire right now. I Once I get iron, I can do some funny foot and steel stuff. Oh, but right, I think you craft it with the hammer. I think. It's my melody? I was not aware that was a my melody thing specifically. But we do that, and a good deal of that durability is consumed, but now we have dust, so that's already or doubling. That that's mods for you. So I the main thing is now that we're caving. I need to get some iron, but first and foremost, put some of this away. We don't need all of that. Tiny charcoal, tiny coal, cobblestone. Can you make a tiny torch? Okay, so it's conjecture with no basis, in fact, one way or another. I'll keep that in mind. You have that liberty. One thing that I would say about this mod pack is that it would be nice if it had Epic Fight Mod. Because I really did enjoy Epic Fight Mod in Dawncraft. And even without the mod pack being tailored for it entirely, it would be cool. Oh, oh, wait. I thought, isn't my melody a Sanrio character? I feel like we might be talking around each other right now. Okay, well, let's make another stone pickaxe. Mm -hmm. So how am I going to work my way down here? I... That might work. Going to be interesting. Oh, yeah, limestone. This is... That just falls down. Hmm. Main thing is, I do have a home set here now, so even if it kills me, well, it won't we render me unable to access this area, but even still. Oh, okay. Yeah, I... My mother... Had a lot of Sanrio merch growing up. Well, glowing Grotto. So, the caves are cool, but this is not what I expected from mining. Oh, and oh my goodness, of course there's a creeper here. Come on, you. Glowing Moss Block, and let's just put that down. Start lighting this place up. Uh, we need to make more torches by a long shot. This question is, oh, and we got iron. Light this up, see if I can find that creeper. I, the big thing is... Oh, this cave goes far, far. Oh, that's a little frightening. Well, I... Hmm, gotta watch my six. Let's make 48 more torches. That's decent. Oh, but that was... Wait, how many? Wait, I, I don't know what just happened there. Okay, CBBS. Oh, so that... That's a... Is that British? Yeah, that's British, right? I might have heard of that. Might have heard of that. It's interesting how a lot of names get repeated through blanks. It's magnetite. It's some kind of crystal from some mod. I forget which. This is light overweight. X petrified ore, and I cannot mine that with... I need iron ore to mine that. I could make a furnace here. Fair. Yeah, because the big thing is... My family... Used to be really big into the British baking show. And wait, light overlay. Oh, oh, that's actually quite cool. So it shows where things can spawn. All right, interesting. Well, I until I get armor, I think I might keep my distance. That'd probably be a good idea. This is where I came from. That torch. Got silver, zinc. Cannot mine that yet, but I can mine iron. Pretty handily. Where to? Mm, an okay level. Got nickel. It, it is nice that we have so many ores spawning, especially because if they all competed for space, it'd be really, really hard to find basic ores. Yeah, my melody is a 
bunny with a pink hood with ears. That is far as I remember. But, you know, maybe it would be funny to try Hello Kitty on an adventure. But, in terms of life simulation type games, the new Fantasy Life is going to be coming out in a couple of months. And that's a game that I'm actually pretty excited for. Because I played the first one when I was back in high school. But, like I said, my parents and my sister used to watch a lot of the Great British Baking Show, which in America, well, in Britain is known as Bake Off, but that's copyrighted in America because it was a name given to a show run by the Pillsbury Company, is in Pillsbury Doughboy, which no longer exists, but they still own the, still own the trademark. Okay, so that, oh, so that connected this is connected and inferium or mystical agriculture i inferium essence how do i get started with mystical agriculture inferium or inferium essence and that inferium infusion crystal the prudentia oh huh. and a inferium gemstone that takes prosperity gemstone and prosperity gemstone oh diamond and prosperity shards which how do you get prosperity shards Oh, Prosperity Ore. It... I suppose. The big question is... What can I actually make using Inferium Essence? Inferium Apple, not it eating, was it tastes like absorption? Gemstone, and... Can you make other... Okay, you can just make Inferium Seeds, okay. Wheat Seeds, so I could use that to grow more Essence. And, oh! Farmland to your one. Oh, that's fun. I presume I could find some water and get a... Bucket, mystical fertilizer, inferior coal. Huh. Agraditions. Fertilizer, prudentium, and infusion crystal. Unlimited uses with master. Huh. Farmland and. Inferium furnace, but. That also makes inferior farmland. You don't even need the hoe with it. Sonreal character? I. A wand. What does a wand do? What do you do with that? Stonemason. I... It's hard to say. I... I remember, I liked Batsmaru, I think. I... Yeah, yeah, I think... I like Cinema Roll, because... From the little I know about him, his personality is just being an absolute rat bastard, which I find amusing. But... And again, I apologize for the mention, but... Because Sanrio collabs with literally everything under the sun, but... At one point in time, they did a collaboration where they made merchandise that was... Basically having various fate characters dress up in... The outfits... No, Sanrio characters dress up in... Well, this is why. Sanrio characters dress up in the outfits of fate characters. And they had... Cinnamarole as Merlin. Who is himself generally considered in order to just be a total rat bastard so it i think that's actually how i found out so you, you have something to oda something to oda fate sorry to tell you okay the big thing is i should light up that area i think it's done mm. but i know i think you mentioned this to me the fact that the original fate vn is actually getting a steam release soon as well as actually they announced that they were doing the same for the sequel well, just a schemer. Someone who absolutely everyone hates because he's always up to something. It... You might be able to draw perils with another person you know. But... I'll just keep on looking. But... He has a pet dog cat thing. Mascot Pokemon who every time it sees him, it tries to kill him. Because everything in the world itself hates that guy. So, it... I wonder what I can actually do with a Zinc. Let me see. Zinc gets used for... I suppose so. Also another kind. What do you do with Zinc? Zinc dust, raw Zinc. Zinc ingot. Metal or meat allergic mycelial generator. Can make an, a tag item filter. What? Well, it... Probably not a schemer, but just 
a selfish person. Yeah, yeah, Kurumi is very, very popular because her entire the reason Kur Kurumi was created as a character was basically to be alt goth girl Hello Kitty for people who thought Hello Kitty was too cute and cuddly. Basically, it. I didn't know Cinema Roll was an e boy. Frankly, it makes sense. So how much more iron? The big thing is that I do have a way to ore double now, which is exciting. Eventually, I'll be able to do stuff with create, but honestly, I could just follow the mod pathway. See where that takes me. But it caving really is the best way to get ores. It seems. I it makes sense, but still. I, when they did the cave update, they did, it was specifically to make it so that going in caves was going to be a better way to get materials than just strip mining or branch mining, that is, and, can I mine that? Yeah, I can mine it, and that's redstone flux, resin, and crystal, strength, efficiency, purity, deep resonance. Mm hmm, got more coal. Yeah, but... And, okay, silver ore, which, yeah, I cannot mine right now. Question is what I'm going to do with that. Hmm. Let me think. Coal ore, coal ore, coal ore. I... Is anyone on right now? Is anyone even on right now? Wait, did I... Oh, the keybinds are all changed. Let's... Go to controls and keybinds. Show players. Show players. What was on numpad again? Numpad was... Wait, player list, player list. List players that's on tab right now. Let's put on numlock. Then keybinds for death, knowledge of death, not bound. Let's put on seven. Classy. Oh! Forgot, I forgot about the penguin. Okay, yeah, nobody's on right now. It was Anna Emmerich who left earlier, but... I... Did I ever mention before that I used to be, when I was a lot younger, a huge Club Penguin kid? That was... Club Penguin was my thing. It... And a lot of... I used to live in California, and then I moved to the Midwest. And a lot of people did not believe me when I said that I had never played Webkins. Because it was... Webkins was not really a West Coast thing. No, I... Club Penguin. Club Penguin. Club Penguin. I used to play Club Penguin a lot. You can leave that zinc ore down there. Big thing is, I definitely want to... Oh, lead ore. Get more Inferium, but... Yeah, we should make some Inferium seeds and find a way to... Grow that in the meantime for... Question is, whether I'd be able to... Do any forced chunk loading to make things grow while it's offline? I, I'm not sure I could. Don't worry, don't worry. We can we can misunderstand each other again. It will happen. Okay, glowworm silk strands. I wonder what that would actually do. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. She she's waiting on bated breath, but she she can wait. Emphasis on waiting. So if I. Okay, so that just goes away. That's sad. I wonder if I could actually do anything with that silk strand then. And what is that thing? School agriculture. We need to do some infusion then. In the original form of mystical agriculture, which was called magical crops, it was called Menecio essence. That was thorium ore. Create a new age. Thorium. Oh my goodness, okay, I, alright, I, oh come on, I, let's not die, let's not die, oh my goodness, I, okay, if I die here, I swear, I can't die here, I can't die here, come on, come on, we need to escape this wretched place, and my torch is over here, so let's, Club Penguin, which eventually got bought out by Disney, it, it was basically an online chat room where you could waddle around, literally, and that was what they called it, as a penguin, dress them up, and if you were ha a lot of clothes were member exclusive, so generally, oh, that's right, I can just go home. Right. Okay. There we go. Well, it. I think it was mostly an American coastal thing, especially because it did end up being Disney affiliated, which also meant that eventually they started doing a lot of Disney show collaborations. Eventually, 
Well, it was technically free to play. You just had a much better player experience if you were willing to draw money on it. Okay, so... I guess we could make some shears. A white overlay that... How do you turn off a white overlay? Let me see. Controls, keybinds, light overlay. Okay, F7 is the light overlay. Okay, there we go. Disabled. That's actually nice to have underground. Okay, so let's use that ore hammer to double our ore to from a little, little under half a stack to a little over half a stack. 21. Hello Kitty is. There's no shame in being basic. 42, and let's put... How should I? 32. Actually, yeah, 32. Good math. And then, I'll actually put that down and 24 and 32. Let's get some coal in there. It, there's nothing wrong with being a normal person. The only people who will say that being wrong, being normal is a bad thing are people who are not normal. I'm not, I'm not even normal. I'm not normal and I still don't say that. Okay. Let's make more furnaces. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that was more than I wanted to make. That's fine. Here's our furnace array. So actually, we could split this up. Well, not like that. Not like that. I, oh, come on. Come on. And split. Now we can put five in each one. And thanks. Put that there, and actually, we can leave a, a little bit of coal in each one, maybe. Here we are. We have a bit. And this all running at once for maximum efficiency. Alright. That in there, and... Put in a tiny coal. Yeah, we gotta have a devoted tiny coal furnace, actually. To make sure that nothing goes waste. Alright. Oh, oh. That's understandable. Not, not the part where they shove Hello Kitty down your throat. That sounds painful, too. I'm not sure how you would eat Hello Kitty. I don't think she would enjoy that, either. That... Okay, wraiths. Any... Resin bee. Are there any sheep around here? We got pigs. Leaf, cu leaf cutter bee. Where are my... Sheep. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, well... She's also three apples high. So, three apples tall. Oh, it's starbuckles. Multiple starbuckles. Yeah, you know, imagine, say, talking about having trauma. And you have to explain what your trauma is and say that it's Hello Kitty. Basic ore doubling. Yay. Okay, so what can we get out of that? Metal age. We could take... Oh, augment speed? What is... Iron furnaces. Now it's cooked on twice the amount of fuel. Huh. Let's actually close that again and check my other basic ore doubling. Let's get another board, and that's... Okay, a honey bottle. That's not bad. Oh, that completed the honey task. Oh, but that's right. What I should do is... Exactly. About a Barbie movie. What was what was your Barbie nightmare about? I feel like I need to hear this story. Oh, but exactly, exactly. Well, we need weather first. How am I going to get weather... Leather. So I need leather for a book. Werewolf for bonded leather. Hog skin. Hog skin. Leather scrap. Wilden wing. Cow essence. Rabbit hide. Rotten leather. Not having a good way to get leather around here is kind of painful. I probably, I would think. That rotten flesh to leather, but you need foot in a water sigil. Quest with an alchemy catalyst. I made it packing. Well, it... Presumably because you were scared of Barbie. Oh, wow. Oh. Well, presumably she didn't. I hope. That is... Not pleasant. Let's make some jungle wood. Alright, we should take that from there. Be cool if right-clicking on the chest will you to craft with. Chest inventory. Jungle planks, and let's make... Two more chests, and I can organize a bit better in a bit. Let's put this over the door then. Okay. Here we go, more chests. Aw. 
So where could I get leather? There aren't any cows around here. Let's actually go back to spawn. Well, not now because it's not daytime yet. So actually what I might want to do is I could craft, take that iron I just got and make some more tools. The big thing is, is that when I make my spell book, basic spell book for Ars Nouveau, which I want to get as soon as I can. Take, well, first I need to find archwood is the thing to actually make the table, but a book along with those, a canvas. So canvas comes from straw, which dry plant fiber, grassy crops, and plants with a knife. Well, that's fine. There's another way to make a book, even without leather. And I could make a wooden fillet knife, stone fillet knife, knife with... Can you make a stone knife? Stone knife. You can make a flint knife. Could make an iron knife, presumably, and that takes... One stick and... let's just try that then. One stick and one cobble. See if that lets me make a wooden knife. And the answer is no, that's actually quite sad. Well, in that case, let's make an iron knife. Get more iron later. I can use this to hunt and gather an iron torch. Oh, because it gets crafted like a knife. It... Is it... The little twin stars... If you're going to act like it's something very abstruse and sort of unorthodox, I bet it's Little Twin Stars. And just, we can mine a few more things now, but since it's daytime, I think I'll try to get... Isn't it Iron Pick? Sugarcane. So if I save one sugarcane, the big thing is that I don't have a good way to get water around here. Huh... Let's get a book, but scribing. No, no, Ars Nouveau. Ars Nouveau. Wait. Table, table. Where's my spell scribing table? Is it not? There's so many things here. Alchemy table and scribes table. So, yep, you need. Oh, I need gold nuggets too. Okay, and then. Couple of logs, so we'll need to go a bit deeper into the mines, literally, in order to make that work. Hmm. I. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't know you. That's your question. Uh, I guess I could try getting. Well, we can put the knife away, but for now, I think. I guess I could make an iron sword. I'll have to make one anyway for the book. I didn't even think about that, but yeah, they're making new characters. That's cool. Shovel and... Yep, craft multiple. Axe and shovel. Oh, there we go. So we can... Main thing is, I hope that they didn't disable the break spell. They might have. So it does make it a little easy to make some things. How much... Yeah, I have a good amount of coal. Let's take a stack there. But I, I could make iron armor. I do have enough for a full set. It, it's an interesting idea. Yeah, exactly. A new objective has been, new objective has been set. But ore hammers. We could make an iron ore hammer, theoretically. Iron bronze, and that bronze takes. Tin and copper. One tin, three copper. How would you? Blasting, smelting, furnace, shape, bulk blasting, and get caught with a fire charge. Oh, interesting. That's cool. A fire charge. Or just crafting without a fire charge? Why did I. So that's just easier. A real craft recipe. So copper and. You can make. Oh, but. In order to use dust instead of ingots, you need a fire charge. My my sister has some Agretsuko stuff. Oh wait, is is Gudetama Sanrio? I feel like an idiot for not knowing for sure. But Gudetama is Sanrio, right? It I had a friend in high school, Filipino, who liked Gudetama. 
I can't believe I actually got it. It... And that's why you said, do you even know me? Because it was... The Lazy Egg. Alright. But actually, Copper and... But making a fire charge... Hmm... Well, it'd be fair if you smelt them anyway. Then you can combine them. I... You know... It's... We may as well kill a creeper. Got our light over here. Light overlay enabled and... Oh, hello. I... Oh my goodness, I... Come on, creeper. Wait, huh? Thorium ore and... Can I... Where are you? Where'd that creeper go? Come on. Get over here, you imbecile. I... Okay. Need to back away. Can I... Oh my... What? Okay. Can I... Get the critical. Okay, we got the critical. Hate you so much. Can I... Die, die, die. Oh my... Okay, well... Wait, did I kill it or did it blow up? That was weird. I, okay. I, maybe fate was on my side there. Or maybe I show people like better. And can I, oh, wait, can I, wait. Now that does break with any pickaxe? Wait, wait. Oh, is in, wait. So wait, is it Gudetama or not? As I thought, didn't you say it was Gudetama? Or am I misreading what you said? Can't put that under... Well, I don't want you to kill me, but I would be more than happy if you told me who it was. So this should show where things can spawn. I just like having more light. It's cool to go caving. Hmm. Got glow berries over there. That, okay, so that's all. Spawnable. So how much farther is this cave going to go? It's cool. Over there, and... I hear something. Might be an axolotl, maybe? Iron ore. Oh, oh, okay. Well, in that case, I'm actually surprised. I would have thought... And don't kill me. I would have thought Gudetama was a, kind of a shoe in for your favorite. Oh, oh, well, time to scroll. So... Is it Hello Kitty or Cinema Roll? Tuxedo Sam, Tuxedo Sam. Wait, oh, Jewel Pets, okay. I don't know about Jewel Pets, actually. So Thorium is potentially radioactive. Let's just see how that works. Do a Thorium, you can make a heat pump and... Crushing into radioactive Thorium. Wow. But, so it's not normally radioactive, and you can make nuclear fuel using nuclear energy and large amounts of heat. New ways to boil water. I feel like I'm going to have to find another place to set up a nuclear reactor when I actually do. I, yeah, Kurumi being your second makes sense. Fuel injector and... This is fun. Heat vent reactor distributed connected pipes. Deadly radiation. Jewel pets. Leather ar oh leather armor or reactor casing slash glass. Uh, okay. Huh. Some use the heat or a fun little meltdown. Fun. You need some way to vent the heat. Uses up the fuel eventually too. Huh. That was interesting. I, I need to see what, what's up with these jewel pets. Jewel pets. Oh, they are cute. Oh, so it was sort of a... Well, yeah, that's the idea. That's what makes it so fun. But it seems like they were sort of a Pokemon kind of thing, maybe. I probably compare too many things to Pokemon. Okay. As in, you do know that being complicated is the point? Well, yeah. I'm glad we're on the same page there. Okay. Not to be not to be patronizing, but of course to be patronizing. We hate each other, and that's why we got along so well. So Oh, but like I was saying before, in terms of life simulation games, Fantasy Life 2 is going to be coming out in a couple of months, and that's gonna be interesting because it's sort of If you're familiar with Rune Factory, it's sort of like Harvest Moon combined with an action RPG. Fantasy Life was just a job-oriented action RPG, but 
Fantasy Life 2 is going to be adding the... Oh, well, we can get water here. Need a bucket first. But Fantasy Life 2 is going to specifically add an island you can configure. Oh, Uranonite. Is that... If it's poor, I bet it isn't radioactive. I would hope. And that... Is that radioactive? Oh, right, you did play... I forgot you told me you played the mobile version. Yeah, it... I'm excited for it. Uh, Jack... Jack was a big Fantasy Life junkie, too. Before we even met each other, which was funny. And we did... We briefly did a little bit together. Well, actually, what happened was he couldn't find his cartridge, or maybe it got bricked. So he was able to street pass some data to me, so that I was able to get a free sword from his character. But he was never able to play it again, so we were never able to actually play together. But I'm not sure what the multiplayer for Fantasy Life 2 is going to be like, but the big thing is that, like I said, it's going to add a, an island you can build onto and customize, like the Switch Animal Crossing game. Yeah, it is. There are a lot of things that he's just lost or had taken from him. Poor guy. So let's not actually break that first. Let's mine everything before we have to get in the water. So all this is, yeah, alchemy. This, I gotta make an infinite water source. And, oh, that goes down there. Oh my goodness, I did not intend to do that. How am I gonna get back up? I, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Let's put this down there. Oh, we got, ah, oh, axolotl, and why is there a pot here? Yeah, he, he couldn't even get to Hero and Dokapon. That was actually really sad for me, too. So I wanted to see what it was and show it off to people a little, but... So we got our axolotls. It's fun to go caving. Okay, so that would flood that end. An urn. And inside the urn was three antique ink. I wonder what I'd do with that. Well, I didn't get lost lost. I know where I am. It's just... I need to find my way back up. Because this ravine... I actually placed torch down there already. This is where that came from. I just need to build a bridge back over using... The relatively small amount of cobblestone I have right now. Cottontail. Cottontails. Oh, that's cute. I like... I like the art style for that. It's a bit rougher. A bit like crayon. That's cute. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so how am I going to... Bridge over. This is tough. I think I'm going to have to mine every block out individually to it bridge as efficiently as possible because oh my goodness this is this was not a great way for things to happen i will say that much okay so actually what i could do if i want to do it like this is do it like that bridge up over the top and this should be yeah this is fine that actually wasn't nearly as bad as i expected it to be Let's mod a few things and then come back. Flaring Azalea. Hmm. What I wonder about that is... Would I be able to craft with it? And yeah, if that dropped down, because it hates me. And... I don't think the water swept me down, but... Can I find any more iron in here? We got niter. Huh. I wonder if... Would that be for gunpowder or something? I bet this mod has another gunpowder recipe. And powder. And you can make saltpeter dust, saltpeter peter, sulfur, and charcoal. That comes from oh nitrate, nitrate dust, which nitrate dust can come from nitrate Venus sand, red sand in a big crusher, but you can get sand from that. Oh, I did not know Cinema Roll had that level of just pure fandom oppressiveness. That's kind of funny. It... Oh, and oh, well, we got more gravel. That's actually pretty nice. Because, among other things, that might need flint. So we got niter, we got... Anything else? Or, oh, we got raw lead. Okay. Let's put that shovel back down. Mine a bit of that gravel, but... It actually reminds me of... And you're gonna kill me for saying this, but... It makes them even more like Merlin, because... Oh, and it was because that was a partial block, because for a while, though it changed after some time, Merlin was very, very oppressive in quote-unquote the FGO metagame, because FGO is a bit like Genshin in that support characters oftentimes tend to be a lot more important to the meta than 
DPS characters, because the entire deal is if you have a good support character, they can make almost any character work decently as a DPS. Or, effectively, a good support character will make a DPS, you know, get their maximum potential out, which is, well, it's a lot like Bennett being really, really good. What just happened? I talked about fate. Understandable. So, Glowing Moss, and we got Carpet there, but no block there, so if we want to break that, drop that down. Oh, we need to break another first. There we go, and we can break that there. And the Carpet will break the rest. Thank you, Carpet, for breaking that for me. And that... Oh, oh. To you, specifically? That's... frightening. Oh, interesting. Yeah, Cinema Roll... I presume that a lot of Cinema Roll's popularity has to... is because Cinema Roll is kind of... an obnoxious character. There's a bit of... frightening charm in that. Sh shared Instagram account? You have a shared Instagram account? I... remember some other guys in college would occasionally have a shared... you know, only ever as a joke, but a shared Tinder account for their entire room. Where they all pose, do some funny pose on a bed or something. But, let's just think about this. How do I want to make this happen? Down here is, okay, we got more carpet, which means we can mine some of that. How far can I reach? Oh, right, light over, which means iron pickaxe. Okay, I should, well, the issue is I'm going to have to ride that place above. I can break this in now, but go to iron, and that's going to come down. So let's just break that and let the carpet do the rest. A lot of sulfur up there, but I guess we can leave that lead for later. The big thing is I'm not sure what I would specifically use lead for right now. Got a lot of this Inferium Essence, which I could use to make some seeds, even if I don't have a diamond yet to use, in order to make an actual infusion stone to make better work rops. I guess we could get some silver and hope that it gives us something. Silver the Hedgehog? Never mind. Silly videos. That's cute. Yeah. Probably cuter than running a roommate Tinder thing. What blue things? The These are something to do with silkworms. Not exactly sure. Glowworm silk. What I do with those, but... Worm silk. Glowworm silk. And what do you do with that? You can upgrade it somehow. It Smithing template. Oh, you can use it for some kind of armor trim. Banished armor trim and redstone material. It is that all you can do with it? You can make a facade? Tinder we're kind to judge people with. Oh, okay. I've known people to do that. A few years ago, some people who I'm no longer in contact with, who I was in marching band with back in high school. And that's a dangerous confession to make, being a former band kid, but basically, you could do some mind chem maybe. Or or doubling. For it, dating apps are a nightmare, and nobody who was on them enjoys being on them, generally. It, they're not supposed to work. And even ones like Hinge, which, to be fair, one of my friends matched up with someone through Hinge, and it's been working well for them, but even ones like Hinge, which literally say, quote unquote, the dating app made to be discarded and deleted. It, they cannot make money. They make less money when people stay in stable relationships because it means they aren't using the app anymore so they have perverse incentives which run at precise cross purposes to the people using them well, unless you use it for quite frankly one-time encounters which well it's your prerogative oh okay so you have the weirdo the jerk and the stoner and fair enough it Honestly, that sounds like the average male friend group in 2024. So we can get some thorium. The big thing is, I wonder if I could fight off that weird mushroom enderman. Thorium ore. Can I grind thorium into dust? Let's try to take you down, mister. Mushroom fields enderman. Oh, you're not that strong. If we can get the crits off reliably and... Wait, where did, it, where did that guy go? Oh, oh... Was that the same guy from before? Because I know you talked about other people mistaking you for an Asian and being really weird about it. So I can't mind that. Azalea flowers and some kind of treasure trove. 
This cave just goes on and on forever. Okay. So, so, oh, so, oh, so it was the same guy. Again, I wonder what he thinks about Nagatoro being over. Got a couple of bones and we got, what else did we just pick up? It, was it more iron or, well, iron or silver or, I don't know. Oh, ash, dropped ash. Resonating or deep resonance. Eventually, I think that allows you to do passive mining. It was cute, which means I should probably avoid disturbing it. It would be the responsible thing to do. So if I go up top, I can manage some things. But honestly, I I might be getting a work from home call center job soon. It's made me think about what I might what, what I might have to change streaming hours to. The big thing is is that in theory an evening time slot is better for you know an American audience. I I'm not sure I could pick them up right now is the thing. They might require shears. But oh goodness. And which one was that? Yeah, yeah. Well, I well that the thing about that is I would have less time here. The big question is what time slots would work for me and you. As a result, and the time slots do end up kind of weird. Thank you though. Thank you. But Hopefully, hopefully I can upgrade eventually, so to speak. I'll have to be speaking Spanish, which is interesting. I don't think I can... Can you... You cannot ore hammer this. Yeah, radioactive thorium. Can you use an ore hammer on the thorium? Either way, I would need that for fuel, which... Let's just try some of that. Thorium with the ore hammer means... Some more iron. That does not work. Silver and... You can make silver dust. With Niter, you don't get anything. And with... I guess we did not get that much raw iron. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, but... Well, not saving as much as gaining. It... The big thing is that the dream is, of course, to get resources to get popular and make a good amount of money that way. It... We'll see how things go, though. But, okay, lead dust, but I don't have anything to do with lead right now. I do have zinc, and getting zinc would be nice. But, let me see that ore hammer, ore hammer, iron ore hammer. That takes blocks. Hmm. That, eventually it's a good, and why is this not working? Why is this not working? Okay, now it works, and that just opened five times in a row or something. Okay, so zinc, nickel. It's the idea, well, I... You don't get scoliosis from just leaning over. You get scoliosis from growing too fast, which is generally why scoliosis... Well, quote-unquote, too fast. Scoliosis is a lot more common, as you may or may not know, in women than men because of how growth spurts work for either one. Nickel comb, productive bees, raw nickel... I'm gonna do with a nickel ingot. Which is another example of the profound injustice of this world. So you can make a nickel rod with a, an ore hammer. What do you do with nickel rod? You can make a pipe wrench. Lots of things with, well, you can use any kind of... Any kind of forge rods. Interesting. Chromium, you can use a gold file to make a rod. A lot of things in here. But I still don't have a bed. It... I... I cannot let this... Let this question stand, but it seems as if Firefox is... Firefox doesn't have enough CPU right now, so... You win. I can't... I cannot argue with you. It... Is this how... Is this how Italians usually... Usually win their arguments? Why is... Wait, what? Huh? Oh, come on. I, I hope this is not an overheating issue. Let's put this in and make a bit more iron. And now I've got 24. I, oh my goodness. That completely battles. Battles and suffering. Well, I... Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I have to cool this down with ice water again. I'll be right back. 
I swear, I swear. How do I turn off my tracker? I'll be right back. I was wondering when you might show up. It's good to see you, Yuzu. It, but hopefully things should be working. Thank you for the follow. And hopefully we will be in a better position now. Thank you. Yeah, stay tuned to see if I die in the meantime while I'm actually back in. Oh my goodness. Let's let this ghost in. Wraith and, oh come on. How do I, okay and. I don't want- and what- what is- what is this? What is going on here? Oh, come on. Okay, what- what in the- What is on me? Chilled healing from all sources. Well, it- very specifically, I- uh, Vengeance Spirit. Invisible. Vengeance Spirit. It- the way it works is I put the bowl of ice water- Ah! Uh, you're an ADM- ATM9 guy? What is that even from? But... I just need actual armor. The issue is that I hardly have any... Hardly have any iron right now. I don't have much else to do with this iron. Let's just make armor. And just use some of this. Thank you. Boots. And then you do the funny trick to get a helmet quickly. Which is putting this on there. But I... Fair, fair. Honestly, if people want in, they can probably get in. You probably put in a good word for a lot of people. But, which is, I put a fan, sort of from left to right, fan, bowl of ice water, and PC. And the fan blows the cold water that the, well, the cold air that the bowl of ice water creates into the computer and cools it down. Because my room does not get much of any of the house's air conditioning, because I'm the red-headed stepchild, I guess. Well, yeah, well, even if I'm not actually red-headed. Literally, literally, external water cooling. That's how ridiculous things are here. So I, it's actually daytime now. Well, it's close to daytime. So the big thing is, I should, well, I can make a bucket. I can, I can make two buckets. This, you know, we're, we're gonna put, we're gonna put the infinite water source right here for now. Right now, well, this is a 4x4. Four four. I've already got a 4x4 four four, four four pit. You can make the infinite water source there. Yeah, literally anything as long as it works. It's that image of the guy throwing dynamite from Fist of the North Star, if you're familiar, where he just... He's holding a stick, it's, you call throwing dynamite a martial art and he just says, hey, whatever works. Yeah, but also it does help cool down the room, but it... I knew this would be pretty CPU intensive, but I did not think I would actually need to not only put down a bowl of water, but actually switch out the bowl of water meantime. So that tells me is that I wonder if things are going to get hotter. I feel like I could do a 
every hour on the hour, I take a quick break, bathroom break, and get a new bowl of ice water. And if if it works, it works. The big thing is, is that... No, seriously. Well, Minecraft is a rather CPU-intensive game to its benefit, because it has to simulate all these block interactions. It would be even worse if I was running on my own device instead of on running it through the server. Yeah, exactly. Well, eventually. Fingers crossed. Oh, there was more iron up here. But, like I said, it... I do not know why or how you have the idea in your head that I can somehow urinate ice. And that would be a literal superpower. Not, not a good or pleasant one, but an actual superpower. So actually, right, we can just go up top here. That's really convenient. So let's make our infinite water source. Which might mean we could do some indoor farming too. There we go. Quite literally. Well, if Mirio can be the number one hero with just the ability to turn invisible and intangible while he holds his breath and goes blind. Oh, uh, okay. Did, did people hear about the MHA ending? I cannot, okay, I can right click that. Can I, or let's take this out real quick. I right click, okay, I do need to harvest. Wait, high grass. Do we have normal grass anywhere? Okay, this is grass. Okay, well now we got corn seeds? Corn seeds? Yowie phobic. It. Well, harvest grass or wheat or rice with a knife to collect straw. So we did get straw, that's good. It. Wait. Okay, so it's a random mother get straw and rice seeds. Sushi go crafting. Okay, maybe maybe I have to live entirely off of sushi. Or at least off of rice. Todoroki ice. It. The big thing is. A lot of people were debating whether Deku and Ochako get together based on the ending and some of the pictures, especially since a lot of it was due to leaks that had arguable mistransla mistranslations. But I need to make a book. Got water. I I guess I could make some farm. And the big thing is that if I want Nisio seeds, I need to set up a little indoor farm. Oh, oh, that's... Is that what you meant? I swear. You scare me. So this isn't actually causing durability loss. Let's see. Normal grass. And that... Industrial... When am I going to get normal wheat seeds? I feel like a lunatic. Do wheat seeds just not drop here? Because... You seem to have... A tomato? Okay. Seem to have the idea that I can pee ice. Oh, come on. What are you saying now? Okay, thermal cultivation. Grass and... Well, we got a good amount of straw. The big thing is I can make that a canvas, which I can use for a book, but we don't have that much sugar cane, so I need a way to farm it right now. The tomato came from the grass. Somehow. I, I'm not going to question it. I got the impression that maybe you can't get wheat seeds from grass in here. Wheat seeds from information added to a flower pot. And infusion cocoa beans with alchemy catalyst and a mana pool. And a fern can be turned into wheat seeds and green dye. Milling tall grass. But power source though. I need wheat somehow. It... I think some people made some kind of Genshin E mod for Minecraft, but... I guess I'm just going to be chopping grass until somehow they give me some kind of seeds that are wheat, presumably. It's not dropping here. We got wasabi, and we still don't have wheat seeds. You've got to be kidding me. It, how much of this... It... I get the impression that it might be biome dependent, and that there might just not be wheat seeds in here. But if I've gotten strawberries and rice and all sorts of amaranth? You're kidding. Finally, we got wheat seeds. Oh, and we actually just got wheat, too. Not nourishing enough to improve your health. 
Durham wheat. Farmer to plant this for you. Durham wheat. I did not mean that. Take that off and mod colonies and Okay, so you actually need two a baker bakes bread, flat bread from Durham wheat. So you need villagers, special villagers in order to make stuff for you. Make dough. So you cannot do this yourself. That's actually quite interesting. There is no potential way for us to get the necessary skill to make that ourselves. Is that? That looks like archwood. I might be in business. This is rather nice. Let's, we do have our iron axe. Okay. So, okay. Main thing is, that might not be archwood. I need a special kind of wood in order to get started with Ars Nouveau, which is a mod that would be awesome. It's magic that allows you to, among other things, basically have infinite tool usage and oh, there we go. It's, we got archwood, flashing elemental, flash pine. It, questionable rations. Wait, so if it hurts me, can I cook it into a usable form? It is nice. I could start growing these. Not phase. Flash. Flash pine. Flash pine can be turned into potion of static charge. Oh, right, because it's ours elemental, which is the threat of shocking. Shock, static charge. Okay, so that increases certain electric type damage. And Okay, electric -y damage. The main thing is, in order to chop this down all the way, we need to basically climb the tree in a spiral pattern, and then all the leaves will break, but if we just try to go up from the bottom, we'll find ourselves in a bit of a rut. Huh. But the big thing is, I can use these logs to make a scribing table, which, well, actually I need gold first. So with this and some gold, would allow me to get started with some magic, which Ars Nouveau is one of the magic mods in Dawncraft, and Dom and I got a lot of use out of it. It was part of what allowed me to kill him in the final duel. So, <laughs> I I owe a lot to this mod. It, oh, well, I, I literally forgot about my stupid staircase. Let's try not to die. Huh. Got those wheat seeds, but before I get more, I should. Well, before I turn them into inferium seeds, it, Try to get some resources by planting them. I should attempt to actually farm some wheat first. You would be smug if you were me. You would be smug if you were me. I think I won the right. It, right now, yeah. I'd say so. Industrial hemp. It. Let me just see. Hemp. What can you make with hemp? Industrial hemp seeds can be turned into industrial hemp fibers. What else can you do with that? With the fibers, you can make hemp rope coil. Well, there are some other things you can do with hemp that this game understandably has not replicated. So, hopefully we can get allergies too. I... Dom would say yes, I would say no. Well, actually, in... In Dokapon, which was... The big thing is... Oh, there are roots. That's calcite. I wonder what that does. Oh, oh, do you use the Starbuncles for that? I didn't know you were such a big modded guy. I... I could send you the server link. Asterine. And if nothing else, that would possibly give me people to stream it with. <laughs> But, oh, the bookworms. Okay, I knew about the Starbuncles. I know that you can use Starbuncles for organization, but... Let me see. Sesame seeds. Oh, wow. We... I need a bit more organization then, but... I suppose I could turn some of this area into a whittle farm. I networking is important. Networking is crucial, especially at times like these. Probably some other ghost or something. How do I? Oh, okay, that makes sense. I. Well, the big thing is that last 
In Dawncraft, at least, maybe it's the mod pack in total. Maybe it's because we hadn't upgraded it, but upgraded it, but there was no stabilized warp scroll. There was no ritual of containment, which means that we had to. I want to get a boss trapped for a Drimmy farm, and that probably, I don't know. I don't feel like checking. It might kill me. And I don't have any food right now. That... Oh, uh, what was I going to say? I could plant a bit more sugarcane here, I think. I could make... How big is this mountain? It's... Let me just check. So I think... The question is how much space I'm going to have behind me. So I could expand underground as well, but... Hmm. It's actually pretty big. Cool down 3 minutes and 35 seconds. I think I just saw a wraith. I wouldn't like to double check. But I should find a place to actually get some farming done. Set up a little thing in this area. Big question is, now that this is here, it might be hard to maneuver around it. This opens up to the outside and I, I should probably expand downward. That's three high. Well, the question is how high I'd like my farming room to be. Because a lot of crops like a lot of space. Dawncraft had apotheosis, but there are multiple modules, and one of them lets uncaps the growth height of cactuses and cacti and sugarcane. I don't think it's this one, but gotta grow some more things. So I think I'll go down in a three. Let's go five down. This should be. This should be decent. You can get another room started and start farming. Big question is, of course, and I have a lot of torches right now. I should make some more. What do I want to try farming right now? I farm a lot of things. The main thing is I don't have any automation yet, but... Like I said, once I get gold, I can make a spell book by making a scribing table. That would allow me to... Well, actually... I could, well, first, it'd be a waste to do that without any glyphs is the thing. If I made the tome now, I would take all these iron tools, which are nowhere near breaking. I'd like to make the book, but my iron tools are a bit closer to breaking. So that they don't go to waste. I, I could use the iron pick, but I still honestly have a lot of things I want to use the iron pick on. So let's, well, I could put away some of my crop seeds. But the big thing is I can make this about as wide as I like, given that... Well, also, I should make some slabs to cover up the water. The way I did my farm in Dawncraft was... I had a big water ring in the middle, providing water to crops on the inside and crops on the outside, and... It was three or so away a maximum, because that's the maximum distance at which water can, well, make farmland fertile. So, sulfur ore, sulfur ore. And what am I going to do with this? The big thing is, this is about the height I wanted to get to anyway, so there's no big loss in taking this away, but a lot of things I need to get. It's nice that I'm getting a bit more coal through here. It... What do you want me to do? Just go out and jump off a cliff to make you happy? The answer is yes. I'm not going to do it. I have some standards, some dignity. I, If I just did everything you wanted all the time, you would get used to it, you would fail to appreciate me, then, you, then we would all be sad, then we would all be sad. Yes, sometimes. Not, not all the time, and not in every way, but... Sometimes I do have dignity. It may surprise you. Okay, so how big would I like this farming area to be? I think... Oh, and it went up into a cave? That good an opportunity as any. Let's just... Does this go up to the surface? This goes... Not up to the surface, but... It might go up to the surface. Hmm... I should block off some of this. It... Somehow I detect sarcasm in your voice. I'd like you to prove me wrong. Out of cobble. I, maybe I could put a door down here. Some other way to just indicate. Well, actually, honestly, the cobblestone itself is a good enough indicator that... Oh, wow. That's a lot of tin. 
I, if I lit up this cave, I could use this cave as a place to farm in. The issue would be stepping it on levels. You know, I guess that would make it a bit like a real farm, where you want to... Usually there's a sort of split level kind of deal. Like it chinks the village in everyone's favorite hit video game, Genshin Impact by Mahalio. Please kill me. So let's make a few more torches. That should be enough right now. The thing is just seeing what the light level is. It does not have a life system, but it would be inconvenient. I thought about the idea of doing that, about sort of lobbying the owner. Well, technically, I I pay for the server, too. I pay into the server. But as I was saying, the fact that it's relatively easy to die on spawn because you didn't load in fast enough and the enemy just ganked you makes something like a hardcore live system, a hardcore or even a live system, kind of a non-starter for me and a lot of people. And also, it's just most people on here, even though nobody else is on right now, which is kind of surprising because it is a weekend night. They... They would not like that. There were a lot of people complaining about the server difficult to being on hard, too. So it's very much a sort of, you don't want to poke the bear unnecessarily. So this is going to be in the middle. I guess I could go down a level, but 9, nine by 9 is a good size. I think that's about the size I made the farm in Dawncraft, though. That was a while ago, which is crazy to think about. Well, not not my friends. I wonder what they're doing. They might be raiding on Final Fantasy XIV, which is another game that I'll probably need to get around to playing eventually. Partially due to external pressure, but also due to, well, it... Also just, unless you live in a big coastal city or a bit... Well, actually, Chicago is a coastal city. It's on the coast of a lake, but that's still a coast. But unless you live in a big coastal city, there isn't a lot of nightlife for young people, really. And also, a lot of people just don't have a lot of free time due to jobs and such. And also, just going out tends to be rather expensive. So unless you've got... Unless you're kind of a profligate spender or otherwise able, it's not always the kind of thing that people do. I mean, that was the big thing, is that a lot of people, when I was in college, would go out drinking a lot. And I did not really do that. And if that ever happened, it was for a special occasion and people would buy me drinks. Either because it was my birthday, which, well, whatever. And the big thing is that, and this is going to sound really stupid and silly, but drinking became a lot less fun and interesting once I was able to do it legally. But, uh, sometimes people would just buy me a drink because I was there hanging out and they were just, why don't you have a drink? You should have a drink. And I was like, okay, cool. I'll drink your cheap canned beer for the sake of social appearances. It... The big thing about it is, there is a lot of... What do you mean? That... I didn't think it would be like that. It just ended up being that way. That's what I'll say. I... Now I... Fulfill my desire for risk, thrill, and excitement through different means, which is entertaining European people on the internet and committing acts of violence against my friends in Minecraft. It... it's safer. I hope. And... It's also... I might have mentioned this before, but... The last time I drank any sizable amount was when I was in Europe. And, you know, getting worms there kind of... scared me off a lot of the things I did in Europe. Which... yeah. It... It's a way to do things and see things. It, I will confess to being a bit of a superstitious person. The main thing is, without leather, I won't be able to make a backpack. Making a backpack would be really nice. Like I said, it really, really sustained me through Dawncraft. 
guess the question is, in Dawncraft, there was a two backpack limit in the sense that if you had more than two backpacks in your inventory at the same time, it would give you a really, really strong slowness effect. I, I'm not sure whether this mod pack has a backpack limit or if so, what it is. I, my inventory is running out of things. It, well, I would hope you would say so. You're literally Italian. Okay, and ooh, this is gonna break soon, so I guess we could use the iron pickaxe to break down the rest. It, I'm gonna be using it for Ars Nouveau soon eventually. That was, we got rubber banded a little. That was certainly something. Let's see. Yeah. And one more torch to do it, and we got a canvas. Which I probably shouldn't have crafted, because now it's taking another inventory so I can bury it. Oh, and I thought for a second that it was too full, but this should be a decent size for a farm. The question is... Well, actually, I think the farm I made in Dawncraft might have been a bit bigger, but... This does not necessarily stop me from expanding it, only from... And is it daytime? Presumably it's... Oh, hello! Hello, Wraith. And... Come on, come on. Come on. And... Oh, well, we still got its drops. Okay. Let's put a good number of things away. We got a lot of cobble and... Lots of seeds. We got some copper, some thorium. Radish seeds. It... Thank you, sun. It was... Uh, that victory was all owed to the power of the sun. And a... Tattered cloth. What do you do with tattered cloth? Oh, what I should do. I wonder if there are emotes in this mod pack. Gray wool. Oh. Oh, that's really, really funny. I could make a bed <laughs> using tattered cloth from Eidolons. I might end up having to do that. You can make a potion of vulnerability. And then a brazier to make. Oh, that's idle on itself, and make a soul shard. What does that do? It, that does not show anything. A raven cloak, huh. Raven feather, weft control, organic fletching, mixer, potion of vulnerability, alchemist cauldron, potion of vulnerability. How does that, it's not too much, oh, I, how's that any better? Oh, the, no, no, the Reaper Cloth is for dust, dust glops to Dust Noir, which... Dust Noir isn't even all that good. Which is sad. It... The only time it was even remotely useful was in Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. And even then it got outclassed by Gengar pretty quickly. The only advantage Dust Noir has is not having Poison type, which is legitimately Gengar's biggest weakness. So I... we can get started on putting some water in. Let's dig a channel. Oh, wait, I have that already? Wait, I may be stupid. Let's repair that real quick. I do like Dust Noir. Dust Noir, when I think about Dust Noir, I think about Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. I'm sure that at least some of you can relate. Hmm, so the channel... The main thing is, if it's three away from the channel, Having a 3x3 three three in the middle should be my best way of doing things. 3x3 three three and then... Actually, no. 6x6. Six six. But that would be asymmetrical. Maybe a 5x5, five five, so... The main thing is the corner, so it'd have to be... Sort of 2. For it to hit the corner, it'd have to be maybe... 2 in the corner, then we get the water, and then... 6? Yeah. Then... Two over this way, so let's... I was talking about comms with someone, and one of the things they mentioned was various kinds of overlays, and one of the kinds of overlays they suggested was a DS overlay. And that one could be a lot of fun if I got a good emulator going. The main thing would be, honestly, the best way to do it would be to find the five people who still do 3DS repairs and install capture cards in 3DSs. And then try, maybe try the original Ranger games. It would be comically easy to get a flash cart. They cannot be expensive at this point. Or just, I don't know, get in the games. That would probably be cheap too. I, I lack the technical know-how. Also, the big thing is... In terms of the 3DS that I have, 
Well, for one, I, again, I don't even know where it is. It's probably somewhere in the basement, presumably. But, oh, hi, Kozu. How are you doing? It's good to see you. How is Otakon? Oh, right, I broke that. Yeah, yeah, good to see you. I'm just making a big underground farm right now. Yeah, have fun. Okay, well, that was quick. Fair enough. But as I was saying... This stone pickaxe is really, really breakable. It's a good thing we're getting the materials to repair my roof as I go through here. But like I said, I might have to make a... It was, I agree. I appreciated it. Might have to dig a bit into the floor because of sugar cane growing three high. Actually, I think I have just enough. I'm not... Honestly! Maybe one of you could be a deer and look things up. Whether sugar cane can... Has to have space above it to grow three high. It probably does. Let's dig another four just to be sure, but... I think that sticks. It... I need to grow more trees, but I probably have to do that outside. It... It is... I appreciate it. It was very nice to get the life update. But yeah, digging down a bit would probably be good. Especially since some stairs or something to go down would already be nice. But it is the stream lagging at all? Well, the ice water is still... Ice water isn't melted yet, and that's good. It... The main question is just... When I'll be able to stop running the ice water and when I'll have to... When I have to start next year. The big thing is that... To be fair, I never ran a very, very intensive Minecraft mod pack last year, but it... So if it's 6 and... should be 12 across. It... it's probably the stream, I think, because... Well, I don't know. The big thing is, I saw a bit of the game lagging. If you could see the game rubber band a bit, that would be game lag, but it would not surprise me if it was stream lag too. The main thing is just things are overheating due to summer heat and not having good air conditioning. Okay, that's that's probably just the game itself, which I think if I want to prevent that, I would just have to get a much better computer. But for everything that's going on, it is running relatively well. So right, it's 12, so let's actually dig through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and here we go. But like I said, I never played any of the Ranger games other than the third Pokemon Ranger game. So I would be excited to try some of the others. I think it'd be a nice idea. But honestly, does anyone have any news or anything? News or gossip that they want to discuss? I, I saw a video a few weeks ago of someone fighting Steelix in the original Pokemon Ranger and it just looked crazy to me it's how much it moved around and how hard it was to get through so one two three four five six should be good but we're we are running out of torches huh one two three four five and it'll go over here the first one oh it was in the first ranger game yeah i i have heard craziness about it my cousin I tried a tiny bit of it briefly. I think it was right at the end, is in the Raiko Ante Suicune. And I just, as a 12 year old, I didn't know where to start. It was insane. Just the fact that enemies didn't have health bars, they just had a number of circles you needed to do, and then they would be captured. Yeah, okay, that, that makes a lot of sense. It. Well, was it on a PC emulator or a touchscreen emulator? Because. Honestly, on touchscreen, it wouldn't be all that bad, would it? Well, I suppose maybe if you had a stylus, it would be even better, but... Just having touch controls, I feel like, would go a long way. So this should be a good position. Three, four, five, six, and... It's a little disjointed, but... Now we gotta... Dig down another level. Yay! Get one more pickaxe. Based on the six we've got in the inventory right now, so this should be... I can dig the channel and our four high farm will be complete. Wait, what was different about directions then? Was it... What was different? Okay. The big thing is we need farmland and we need 
figure out where the water needs to go. I had to get channel zone. Channel should be fine. Oh, but if I had known, I, well, I should have known pretty easily. If I had known, I would have been going down to another level. I should have not filled that entire one with cobble. Interesting. So, but again, what was so different about it? It, what I remember about Guardian Signs, among other things, is that they had a really, really hard sort of dungeon crawl mode, which you basically had to play in multiplayer, because otherwise it would be almost impossible. Because the enemies were, had health bars based around the idea of you basically making multiplayer capture loops with up to four people at once. That could actually maybe be interesting. I wonder how hard it would be to emulate four DSs at once by myself and try to play it all with, I don't know, four fingers, four styluses. Or maybe just two people. But the big thing is that you could form capture loops, or I guess they'd maybe be more capture quadrilaterals with a maximum of four people. Because, you know, how much, how perfect of a loop are you going to make with four separate people drawing? Wait, oh, did you do, you did Guardian Science too? That's fair. But I just remember there was one that would allow you to get a Deoxys and transfer it to a Diamond Pro Platinum game. Or hard gold, soul silver, any Gen Four game. I think, or it might have just been platinum and hard gold and soul silver. But oh wow, that's impressive. I just remember that there was a guy in the second one whose name was Ice, who used the Ice type Pokemon, which is kind of on the level of Psychic Trainer with Psychic Pokemon using the move Psychic. Well, to be fair, the thing the thing about that is that. In the Japanese, his name was also literally the English word ice, transliterated, so Aisu, which, you know, sounds a bit less contrived. But, okay, so here we can dig out our water channel. Should be good. And we can start farming sugarcane, but I would need... I'm going to need to go dirt mining. I'm going to need to go get more dirt for this. That's silly. We just check and okay i still do have my cords getting bought which is important but so in japanese the type wouldn't be isu it's kori and of course i'm sure a billion people have mentioned this by now but yeah go touch dirt and that the dark type in pokemon in japanese is not the dark type but literally aku or evil type which is fun, I suppose, but do I have okay I can make I can make one more stone pickaxe. How exciting. This is this is what I wake up in the morning for, just crafting stone pickaxes. But once I get this farm going, I can eventually go down further and get gold. And once I've gotten gold I can make a scribing table and then I can make Ors Nouveau break, which would Help some things, though, to be fair. Honestly, I could have made... I could have made this three wide. And then just put nothing in the corner. It... This is... This is big and... I... Well, actually, it, it wouldn't be hard to expand it this way. It wouldn't be hard, to, hard at all to just expand it one more level. That was... Oh, but to expand it, I just need to mine out that wall so I can... Do what I'm doing right now and then just expand the form later without much issue. So that was Apotheosis spawning its invaders. It. Well, it happened in Dawncraft too. They'll spawn in invaders who are just strong enemies with special weapons, special armor. If you kill them, you can get their special drops. But it. They're interesting, but I'm not going to really be engaging with them right now. Because, again, they would probably kill me, and that would be... The main thing is, even if I can do a set home teleport to get back here... Oh, I may be stupid. I needed to... <laughs> Before I put those down, I need to actually put the water underneath. Okay. So, back on Dawncraft, I think part of it was that Dawn was running the server off of his own home PC. There were some issues with the behavior of water sources. Where, oftentimes, I would go up or down stairs and try to put down water, and it just would not work. And it's a good thing I took that, otherwise it would break all of my torches. So we do that, and infinite water in there, and we can 
continue filling our bucket from here. Let's actually put it all down in all the corners and see what we got. How much more we need to place in. Right. Make sure the water's nice and still. That still takes a bit. It's getting there. This should be all the water I need for the farm right now. Okay, that... There's our water update. Well, yeah, there's our water update. Is this just a common modded server thing? I bet it is. Water behavior being kind of janky. Yeah, exactly. I am not in a mood to get myself killed, at least at the moment. So just sort of stagger it every two, and then... That's useful. And then... Flowing water over here. I... And that means it's time to replace all this with dirt. Oh, oh, I'm really stupid now. Because I still need to replace all this with dirt, which means a lot of the water is going to get all mangled in the meantime. But actually, what I can do right now is put down the slabs. So that's good. Got that done at least. And underneath these funky little cobblestone slabs. And what I wonder is, can I smelt these into stone slabs? Or my question is, can I craft this back into cobblestone? You can craft it back into cobblestone. That's fine. I did not mean to do that, but it is waterlogged because that was one of the coolest added functionalities in any update, the ability to waterlog certain block types, and we need six, two more slabs craft to do the trick for me, so let's put this in, there we go, but Yuzu, I don't think you know, but I mentioned before that my goal is as suggested by other people on the server, to be the server's sort of personal villain. So that's going to mean probably not blowing up things, at least not immediately, but causing people problems, messing with bases, and well, I I guess I could go out right now and take some dirt. Well, I... The big thing is I could get some string by fighting that spider. I... Uh, probably not. How much dirt do I even have? I've got three things of dirt. Let's get this. Let's get this party started. Yeah, I I did specifically ask people if they wanted to become evil henchmen. I would be more than happy to have you on as a as a flunky. Huh? I don't really need jungle wood right now. I do need is... Well, things will blow up eventually, but... I have to be smart about it if I... If I simply make a lot of enemies early on, I, w I could get myself in some trouble. It... Y user gets busy. Well, it depends. It depends. The entire point of being the villain is so that other people can be the heroes. So my question is, is this going to get water in it. Yeah, yeah, there are nukes here too. I guess the big question is, would you be able to run all the mods 9 well? I think it can only propagate through dirt. That makes sense. That makes some sense. Yeah. It... Every, every time you tell me something about Italy, it makes me a little bit afraid. So that should get some water in it. I can start planting some wheat seeds and stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And if you can launch it, you can probably run it on the server. But, like I said, I would probably want to ask people if I could add internet. Well, to be fair, Anna added internet people, so... I... Wait, what? How do I... Wait. Wait, what? How is that not... Why couldn't I put the seeds on that farmland? Huh? That... I... okay. Maybe you can only put it on non-watered farmland? That's frightening. Well, it's not about self-sacrifice, it's about maintaining harmony. Okay. So the question is... Six, we need... 33 right now, and then on the other side, it's 12 by 2. 3, 48... 81, and then... 121 blocks of dirt, which means a little under a couple of stacks. So I could just go out and get two stacks of dirt. Coarse dirt is... Can you, how do you turn coarse dirt into normal dirt? Coarse dirt... Well, it... 
also to ensure... Well, I, I've probably mentioned this before, but... Alchemy into normal dirt, but... Huh. Dirt nest. How do I, how do I turn coarse dirt back into normal dirt? Do I... Can I just use normal... Okay, regular dirt is down there. Oh, so it turns into dirt path and then you can get normal dirt, but that requires multiple stages of mining. I would not like that. Let's just go get right, right. But I would probably have to be smart about my nuke use. Like I said, Dom wants to turn off FTB chunk claims, but well, more like one giant magnifying glass. But the only thing that would really create heat would probably be the... I wonder if we'll get more seats. Yeah, we did get more seats from that. That would actually create more heat would probably be making a draconic reactor go boom and cover things with lava. It... Well, a, a missile is technically a kind of rocket. So, think about it. Here we are with our iron shovel mining turret. We are going to totally denude this land. Got half a stack. It That's fair. And part of the reason I was very insistent that the server stay on hard mode is that hard mode has much faster fire spread than normal mode. Which means that if I wanted to just go arsonist, it would be a lot more possible than on other difficulties. So, food for thought. And... How is that grass that high? That, that That's probably Apotheosis, right? Well, it... I'm very, very far away from spawn. I'm very far away from spawn. It would take a while for people to get to where I am, if they, even if they knew where I was. I... I'm not particularly worried about people finding me. So what? So what only now? Well, it the big thing is that apotheosis uncaps the growth limits of cactus and sugarcane type plants. I don't think they'd grow this high without apotheosis. Oh, okay. But I am excited for hmm, getting started on more farming. Let's go and put this dirt down there. It really is a question of... Okay, now that's got some of that on there, so... Let's just make a good amount of wheat right now. I do wonder what that is. I know that the strongest weapon in this mod pack is the Morgan, which is just the Excalibur Morgan from Fate as a weapon in this mod pack. And it... You make it... Well, originally... In Mahotsky base, you would make it by creating the caliber, which is a holy sword, and then using it to kill a dog, you ta a tamed wolf. It... The main thing is... I hide my coordinates. Unless there was a mole or I actively told someone where I was, people would not be able to find me. It, it's in the mod pack, I swear. I swear. It... What did, what did you want me to do? Demand that we they make a custom all the mods 9 with the fate mod removed just for you? The answer is probably yes. Okay. Keep on going. I I had no interest in streaming it. Oh, how did that auto plant did that auto plant rice? Oh, so it, okay, it auto plants. Huh, okay. Well, when it gets watered, it will force out the rice, it seems. I had no interest in streaming. There were actually multiple that summoned swords. Because... Oh, goodness. There's the treasury projection gauntlet from Mahotsky. And there's also... This relic from Botania, which does a very similar thing. So, there are two separate mods in this mod pack that allow you to be Gilgamesh. No kidding. 
Let me think. Yeah, yeah. There are two mods in this mod pack that do relatively similar things. Well, the difference is, is that the Batania Relic just summons a bunch of golden weapons with set damage, but... And this is where things get really crazy. The Treasury Projection Gauntlet allows you to summon your own weapons. Which is to say, if you have a really, really strong sword, and the strongest being the Morgan, which can go up to 5,000, maybe 5 million. I know that the theoretical max cap is 5 million, but I think the only one you can actually get in survival. This mod pack is 5,000. You can get really, really crazy base damage on it, put all sorts of enchants, and then just fire it out infinitely as a projectile, which I think is especially good because I'm pretty sure that it has set durability that works differently from a normal durability bar. So once you've used it, up more or less you just you have to make a new one and then raise its cap again build its damage up to cap again but if you put it use it with the treasure protection gauntlet it doesn't consume any kind of durability and you can just fire it as a projectile at enemies relatively quickly well not all that fast because when it shows up it hangs in the air and then shoots out but you can far the maddest projectiles we fire off the big things that what i want to do is ars nouveau adds there's some ars nouveau add-ons in this mod pack that add other spell modifiers one of them allows you to do homing projectiles and that would be a lot of fun because if i did that if i put a homing projectile snare on there i could do a homing snare that just traps someone in place in order to use the sword projections on them and just blast them with 5,000 base damage swords as projectiles from range and not have to worry about durability and it would just be rather preposterous it that would one tap an ender dragon i think it would probably even one tap the draconic evolution chaos guardian but let's get our farm started i that is taking some time to grow. Hmm. Well, alright. Fair enough. And have a nice rest and see you around. Thank you for watching. I'll see you another time. Okay. Hmm. Keep on going. And it. Like I was saying, it might be a bit. A little ruthless or a little too cutthroat well not really because it's all about wanting to make sure that people can actually see me but like i said i'm trying to think of when would be good times to stream considering job stuff what i should do is i could make another tor couple more torches so what i should do is okay there we go that lagged out a little i the ice ball has not melted yet that's good so where could I put more torches? Is the question I have. Honestly, it would maybe just eight around. But it's going to be asymmetric is the thing. But yeah, I want to turn this into... Let's make another crafting table. I mean, another cobble pick. Mmm... Gotta put some torches down, but I can't really put them on the slabs. Well, I, yeah, exactly. Can't put them down on the slabs. So how then? Maybe just in a bit of a ring around here. Sort of one, from, two from the corner on the other side. I can see that working. Main thing is just making sure that we have a good amount of light. Things actually grow. Also, eventually, I will be able to use a spell with Ars Nouveau to just forcibly grow things. So that'll be nice. That'll probably be the best way to do things in the end. But no such thing as too much light in here. Thank you, and... Hmm. Sort of a torch ring, and put this back down. I could probably craft those two pickaxes together without too much trouble now. But actually, that does interfere a bit with this, but uh, it, it's still a decent enough road around. Should be fine. Put the normal cobble there, take the torches off the walls, and this should be rather workable. Hmm. 
Okay. Eventually, there's more ore double into two, but this should be good for now. Right, I need to put down more sugar cane for when I need to make more books and paper and the like, but... I wonder, does this have seasons? Does this mod pack have seasons? Check. Not that, not that. Calendar. Okay, this mod pack does not have seasons. I think. Season and... Seasons crowbar, so that... What does that even mean? I don't even know what that's supposed to be in. But let's put down all of our crops for now, and once we start actually running out of space, we can be a bit more silly about... Really? Okay. The wheat and... Is it raining? I think it's raining. It's not only almost nighttime, it's raining. Amazing. So in that case... What do I want to grow? Green tea leaves can be turned into... Can I make a seed? Green tea leaves, but... Huh? Wait. Tea. Tea leaf leaves and why does this not show up that's very strange i i wonder if i could try growing this down there either way eating it is not going to be a good idea let's take all of our crops for now sugarcane and the big thing is of course i want to make some inferium seeds amaranth sesame industrial hemp Wasabi, radish, corn, and oh, well, we don't have enough space. Guess I could have put some stuff away, but let's make this. Let's do an initial trip. I. Huh. What if I. Ah, oh, just tea seeds. Extra seedy place in that. Want to seed watch it grow, break a wild plant to get seeds. Let's just make a tea crop. Cocoa beans are not what I want right now. Wasabi, sesame. Right, the rice is over there. Actually, we could... Oh, it's actually growing. The rice is growing, but the rest is not. Amaranth can go over there, I suppose. Radish. It, it's going to get kind of silly. Mini melon. Take that and break it into... Each of it has... Oh, well, actually, that's food. Right. Actually, in that case, let's make six melon seeds and put... Well, this is actually pretty perfect. Okay. Can put the melon seeds over here, every single one of them. And to make sure that they all face the right direction. See. Actually, that. For now, we'll put six down. And is it facing that way? They're all facing the correct direction. Yeah, okay, so. Got our melons going. I think the next option is going to be figuring out a place for the sugar cane, yeah. So, can I... Wait. Oh, because it would have to be normal dirt, presumably. Okay. Let's just make this into normal dirt again. Of course you can just step on it. Oh, does... Can you not turn farmland back into dirt by stepping on it in this one? It's actually pretty useful. So in that case, let's just toss cobble on top to unfertilize that land. Put down our sugarcane, which... Oh, it can't go in there. I... All right. So in that case, I... Can I actually get... Well, I would maybe be able to if I actually had a bucket on me. No, oh, and Carol. Okay. Good for her. Hmm. For now, before messing around too much, we can still just put it... So it has to be right next to water, and diagonal does not work. Hmm. It's an idea. Put that down there, and that should grow sooner or later. And The wheat simply is not growing. I... It would not surprise me if wheat was somehow screwed up in this mod pack. Hmm. Wheat from seeds... H for essence. Maybe I'm just unlucky. It. I think it might be you. It, like I said, I've still got. And it's not all that hot at the back of the computer. So presumably, and 
And the amaranth is growing, and the cucumbers are growing pretty fast, but the wheat just does not want to grow. Well, it is, it is somewhat random, though. Big thing is, we should have an okay food source, but I could also start planting cocoa beans, but until I get wheat, it's not as if I can make cookies. Aww. This is tough. Okay, cool. Welcome back, everyone's favorite Italian. So in that case, I... You know, half of me feels I should get another camera. Just have a constant live feed of the ice water bowl. That could be funny. It... That should hopefully help with some of the heat, then. And can I make a... Can you turn this into a seed, or... What can I do with that? Oh, right, I still need to plant that hand. We also have... Oh, more rice and strawberry corn. Those are all of our seeds, then. Yeah, what am I going to do? Grow your rain and I? Alright. Well, to be fair, Apotheosis also makes it so that, in theory, the... Oh... We got one couple more rice seeds right, right there. Rice there. Oh, but right, I need to unfertilize that first. Stupid. This is certainly something. Thank you, thank you. We gotta put the hoe back. I keep accidentally reloading those shaders. It is nice. It Minecraft music is maybe not unmatched, but it's quite good. And we could wait, what? Why can't I plant the rice? It huh? This is profoundly strange. I is this a server lag issue or I was able to plant the corn, so what is up with the rice? Make a bunch of industrial hemp. Okay. So do you mean accumula or which one? It really is. I I did use the Oh You're a genius. And well wait, wait. So put this in the offhand and wait, huh? Huh? Are we cooked? Are we cooked? We may be cooked. So maybe rice is just funky. Huh? Wait. What is actually seriously what's going on here? Let's try that one more time. Stone hoe is close to breaking is the thing, so I on water. On water? Wait. Wait. As in in water? Let's see. It is... No. It would be cool if they grew in water, but... Wait. Could I... Wait. Oh, that... I didn't even think about that, but they might actually grow in water. That's an interesting thought. Okay, so what can I... Fertilize land underwater? Well, I can't fertilize land underwater is the thing. Oh, but it does... Oh! Oh, that's crazy. It does just grow... Oh, because that's sushi rice the versus thermal series rice. You might be a genius. That's actually kind of crazy. Okay. Thank you for that. That was fun. That... Wow. That... Well, the fact that there are multiple kinds of rice with different growing conditions is kind of crazy. Big thing is, I don't think I can break crops by walking on them in this mod pack, which is convenient. Yeah, they just... that just does not happen. Even if I stomp on them, it... so we can just freely walk on our crops. Oh, wait, you were... You were a dedicated rice farmer? That's insane. I like that. Uh, how often did people make welcome to the rice fields jokes? Okay. Wasabi and... The wheat crop still is just not growing. Got a tea crop and... The hemp is growing. But it's just... Something that gives me food had better grow. The melon stem's mature, which means it should hopefully put... That down. I wonder what... Does this have salmon in it? 
Grilled salmon. Grilled, grilled salmon. Mm, pink salmon. Okay, because in the other mod pack, I'm, no, it does have grilled salmon. Full course meal. And that takes right. Onion, capture, cabbage leaf, salmon slice, right? Multiple kinds of onions. Big onions and small onions, sweet berries, and a bowl. I made a lot of those in Dawn Craft. They were basically my go-to food once I was able to. Custom on demand, but you can make those yourself. So I don't need that. And we got strawberries. Strawberry. What, what is up with that wheat crop, I swear? What's up with the... Sugarcane, frankly, but that's fair. I don't blame you. I I guess that's my question, just what would a good... If people can go until about 10.30 my time in Europe. Okay, fair. Enjoy. How then do I want to... Well, I guess the big thing is... Evening can work as well as daytime. So I can afford to be flexible, which is a good thing. I try eating some of that, but the big thing is just don't have a good food source. That, my time, for me it's around, well actually for me it's around 9.48 right now, almost 10 p.m. So basically people in Europe, if I start at 7 p.m. my time, people in Europe can go for about, well if they're late people like me frankly, they can go until about two and a half hours before it's just, you know, maybe I should sleep. Which is nice that people would stay up for me. It is very flattering, but... When is my food going to grow? What can I make with amaranth? No, that's... Wasabi's growing. Amaranth can be turned into... The exchange for goods and services. Amaranthus. Amaranth into... Culinary generator. So that's what you use it for. You can make an amaranth bale. Any kind of cooking, or... Witch's food cake, no effects. That's fair. But, whatever works, you know, whatever works. Like I said, there is, I do have that little scheduling sheet in the server for checking to see when people might want to watch. Fair enough, well, I hope you were able to sleep so that you can have enough energy to do things in your daily life. So I could try going Dungeoneering, but even if I have armor, I don't have. That's right, I... No, not that. And... Rid of that. Where is... There we go, yep. Even though I have armor, it doesn't show it. Alright, well, like I said, don't force yourself. I... The entire point is a schedule that works for other people. Because there are a lot of times that could work for me. So here we are, another Wraith... It does seem as if I'll need to. Oh my, oh my goodness, right, because it prevents healing and cannot. And, oh, okay, and. I, getting that crit is harder than I expected. Don't have a lot of range. And that's enough for one block of wool, and wool needs. Bed needs. Three, yeah, it needs three wool, so. Once I have 12 wraith cloths, I can make a bed for myself and not have to. Teleport back. Thank you. Oh, come on. Would it kill you to be nice? Well, actually, it maybe would, so... Focus on what allows you to survive. Fair. So how, then... Gotta find a food source. This... Well, there is a bit... I thought for a second that was... Sugarcane, but this is... Wild flax. Can I use a knife to harvest that? I... When did that happen? I do not remember that happen. Wild flax, and okay, so that does not count as grass-like for that purpose. Oh, cool, there's lava just sitting over there. That's exciting. So then, in that case... Hmm... I guess I can go over and... Oh, it's... Is that all volcanic? I guess the question is, are my chunks going to stay loaded in order to... Harvest and things, and oh, that's rubber, and that's got rubber, and we got mahogany. My desk is made of rich mahogany. It's actually not. Okay. 
This is... It's a little more purple than I would have expected it to be, but... I still have to tower up a little. I suppose I could use... The pickaxe. I... It was about being polite. Because I... Because I care. I don't want you to destroy yourself for my sake. That is not the same as... Getting angry when people get nice. Well, it's good to have you back. For five seconds before you go to sleep. So, let's continue on our merry way. And... And that's all gone. Hello. Hmm. Mind those remaining logs. And if I wanted to farm cocoa beans, yeah, I would want... To have... Some jungle wood, because I would need jungle logs, but I turned all of them into sticks because I may be stupid. But I guess we could get this rubber tree. We need to do some Greg Tech stuff eventually. I saw some people. Someone on the server died of oh and not just wood but resin. Can I spend that on domain runs? Please don't kill me. Okay, so that then. There's more stuff and okay. Oh, and they have a special icon with sap oozing out. I like that. Hmm. Let's go and get a little bit more rubber. That's actually oak leaves. That's just more jungle. The rain has stopped. How much more daytime do I have? I've got about half a day left. Just want to see what that is over in the distance. Again, it looks vaguely volcanic and there is a lava flow, but I wonder if there'd be a whole ass volcano or something, but. We are in a jungle, and that does mean rubber, which, again, when I eventually have to start with Greg Tech, would be quite useful. But yeah, I saw someone die due to Greg Tech's radiation system, and the death message for that is so and such and such got leukemia, and they were just... I didn't know this mod hack had leukemia, and because information is a valuable commodity, so I'm not... Oh, black sand, and that... I might be able to turn that into gunpowder, right? Sand into through crafting and that's hermetica and only with any kind of sand and book and oh theurgy and that hmm okay i i might want to get started on that but you can make conduit binder composite can you make we can make it in glass plainly but i know that some of the so many recipes. So you can mix sand into gunpowder. Well, it'd be easier to look up gunpowder recipes then. Gunpowder, and that's gunpowder. Saltpeter, and there was some way you could do it with sand. Block a gunpowder, well, not quite. Smelting, alchemy, combiner, alchemistry, sulfur, graphite, and potassium nitrate. That would probably be a good way to do it. Potassium nitrate niter, and that. Absolute potassium nitrate dust. Dissolver. Presumably, n yeah, niter would allow you to get potassium nitrate, then. Oh, that's quite good. So, what would I need to make a dissolver? This mine camp would probably be good. There's so many things in here. And that magma block, pistons, iron, and. Magma. I. That might require the nether, but it might also just require going out into the ocean and finding some. Main thing is, order business number one is honestly to get at least a little bit of gold, which I... Once I have a source of food, it might be worth it going to that dungeon over there. As I do get the impression that would be a pretty good way to find stuff. And so that over there... Oh, there's another... So presumably this would be that Stargate Temple, Dungeon, and probably right a normal Jungle Temple. A lot of cool stuff over here. We're so far away from spawn. Not a chicken, but... Might be nice to try getting an egg and snails, right? Some mobs without a normal headshot, just do it like that. Let me think. For now, it might be good to check to see if anything's grown, because... Food would be nice. I, it's a good deal better than starvation. It's at 86 and that, wait, if it's not growing, so you should go craft, does that have a book? Oh, it does have a book and that takes, coming in Itamae, Itamae, 
When you craft it with kelp. Oh, that makes sense, but that would require the open ocean. So, okay, the wheat crops are growing. The stock is mature, but it hasn't made a melon yet. It... I don't imagine it's because it's the wrong way. I think... I think they can turn around, right? I hope. So I'm pretty sure the direction they face is just a factor of geography, but I... Let me just try this again. If I break this and it gets placed down the other way, I might get unpleasant confirmation. And it is always that way, which means I broke that for no reason and I'm simply an idiot. Well, confirmation of what some of us already knew, I suppose. And Oh, we got industrial hemp, which can I... Oh, and did we get any? Got hemp fibers. Aside from that... Got some... Was that durum wheat, or... No, I think I already had that from before. Just didn't put it away. Hemp seeds. I guess we could plant some flax, too. Do have a lot of things. Flax plant, and... I... We have enough industrial hemp growing, presumably. Eventually, I think I'll want to turn this into a big... Well, eventually, I actually want to move into that temple. Let's see how this works. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's tough here. Now it's nighttime, so I suppose the only thing to really do is to go mining. Hope I don't die, but if I do die, well... The annoying thing is that I don't have any way to condense my experience at the moment. Let's just toss most of this all in here. Get a good more stuff of many sorts. Go in there. The hole can go in there. I guess I can keep the... Stone sword for now, but more chests will be needed soon. Well, I could actually just open. Well, space is nice, but I could just mine that out. It's not like it opens immediately up to the top, so let's make what kind of rubber. Feels as if rubber wood might be kind of a waste. I'll use it that way. Let's make some mahogany planks and just that down. Reminds me of how in Enter the Gungeon, which you may or may not have played. There was a gun called the Mahogany. The Mahogany with a U instead of an A in it. It was a gun made of wood that shot, well, wood. It There are a lot of gimmick guns, and a lot of them got ways to make them stronger in one of the updates, in the game's final update, which, because of that, made the game a lot easier to. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, so to speak, but... Especially since it also added a lot of very, very hard content. It's interesting to think about. Well, in that case, I suppose we'll go down and... Still nothing, but... Okay, so they are growing just relatively slowly. Like I said, my question is... How might I be able to... Make a... Not an automated farm, but... Well, I need gold, among other things, and yeah, I'm running out of... Hunger, and I need to make more... Torches, let's make a stack. Which means we have... One remaining... Wait, why did I put my... Where did my iron pickaxe go? It's kind of essential if I want to actually mine things, but... Anything is, where are my quests sending me? Well, it sends you to diamond, but silent gear tools. Back in your crafting table, a silent gear tool using repair kits and that... Oh! Okay. That's interesting. Silent gear. That starts with another one over there. Simple tool crafting, customizable, special traits repaired on the go. Silent gear putting into a crafting table, template boards. This is kind of... Kind of Tinker's Construct. Three of most materials, pickaxe, head part, and that. Yeah, if it's a template, that's very, very. Metal alloy, or starlight charger, enchanting. That helmet blueprint, chest plate, and... Well, for one, I... Yeah, yeah, that would be a good idea. Just to make them unbreakable. That's convenient. It, I suppose it really is that easy. But wait. For a second that did not work. It's curious. 
But I still... Let's try this out. I think... Oh, and the rice actually grew, which means that knife would be good to keep for that. My question is actually... Can I can right quick on that just to take it. And we got rice seeds with thermal. Though to be fair, honestly, I'd probably be better off trying to use other rice. The question is whether these are interchangeable or not. Thermal rice and... Let me just check. We got thermal cultivation rice. Rice and we got rice seeds. Seed rice, rice. That's cooked rice. Disgusting snack. Cooked rice from... Wait. Rice... Oh, and a rice cooker. Accepts any kind of rice... Farmer's Alliance, you should go crafting, thermal cultivation, and croptopia in a rice cooker. You can make a rice cooker. It's just like real life. Okay, iron, redstone, lightweighted check, pressure plate, and a bunch of iron ingots. That, I don't have any redstone yet, but that. I, it would be fun to be a rice guy. It would be funny to basically exclusively eat rice. Now I'll put that away. Can I make with this rice? No, not that rice. This rice. Can make a... Okay, that's the culinary regenerator, so I guess that, that takes any food. Oh, any forge crops. I... It's been a while since I've made fried rice for myself, but I do really like fried rice. The big thing is just having the necessary... Seven hunger shanks and twenty? Wait... Seven hunger shanks and twenty saturation. Restricted salmon, grilled salmon. That's seven eleven. So cabbage roll is it makes two of those: onion, frying pan, salt, rice, tofu, and oh, that's incredible. That is an incredible food source. Wow. Seamed rice is interesting. Let me see how this compares to cooking pot, salt, they need salt. Is there a salt grub I can make? Salty comb block. I can make it out of sand in a fluid seething machine. Gaseous brine, enrichment, heated centrifuge. I... It would be funny to make a bee that exclusively makes salt. It is kind of, it would kind of be a sad way to live. But it... Oh, and, and... That's not even fully grown. Got wasabi, wasabi root, wasabi seeds. I... It's going to be interesting to see what grows and doesn't end. It's more hemp fiber. It... The faster we grow things, the better. And oh, we got more rice, which means... Multiple kinds of rice. Can't switch that. No, we can turn to croptopia rice seeds. I... You know what? Let's grow three different kinds of rice in the same general area. That... That's how I do things. I, I feel like I'm... I feel like my ancestors are happy with me. Hmm. Or amaranth. But like I said, it... If you have an interest in getting on here... I would be more than happy to put in a good word or just give you the link and explain. Oh, friend of a friend. Because that is technically true. It would be... It'd be awesome if Maggie could get on here, though that is not happening. But... Okay, let's go down and try to find some gold somewhere. It's just... The easiest thing would honestly be bread, but that's growing so slowly. Cucumber we got rice, but to make that rice cooker, it I don't even have any animals that I could kill for food. It, once my food bar really goes down and I start losing health to hunger, that's when things are going to get crazy. And another mushroom enderman. I, let's hope it teleports somewhere I can actually fight you. And enderman overhaul ends. I guess it's just going to teleport to a place where I can't find him. That all right, suit yourself. Mm -hmm. Now I do hear him. Is he down here? I feel like there might be a side pathway that I can't reach yet. Well, I can't tell whether it's getting 
hotter or quieter. Let's actually put white overlay back on and what am I going to find over here? The big thing is just right. I need a little bit of gold at least. And oh, we got, oh my, oh my lord. What? Oh, come on, you absolute imbecile. Come on. Die. I, and there are mimics in this game, it seems. Okay, cool. And come on. Oh my lord, 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 lord. Okay, die, die. Oh, wow. I, bunny hoppers immune to fall damage. That was a bit of a system shock. That, oh, we got a smithing table, a loot barrel, and a scent. Oh, okay. Here's our bed. Impressive. And we got more items. Let's get, we got raw cod, which we can turn into cooked cod. Let's just harvest all this. And, oh, oh, it, right, because it's instanced. Take this, and it's taking a while, though. Oh, and I still don't have my iron pickaxe, that's right. Let's go and cook some things to avoid death. And imagine how much that would have killed me if I didn't have my invisible iron armor on. I... And that's interesting, because it is one of those sort of cool tricks that will only ever work once. Just going up to someone, making them think that I don't have any armor, and then just crushing them, crushing their skull. Or, I suppose more accurately, them being, oh, I can crush this guy's skull, and wait, why am I not dealing as much damage as I thought I would? Because there are so many buttons to click, I think that I'm not even sure anyone else even knows that cosmetic armor is an option. Actually, I think the best way to do it would be to wear some crappy armor cosmetically and make them think that I got some sort of armor augmentation system because that would be an easier trick to try to maintain. And we finally got a bit more sugar cane. Hmm. All right. I should maybe have some more growing spots, but this is an interesting idea, but actually let me see. That artifacts, accessory, gloves, ring. Let's go on to, that does not go on feet, so it's accessory, shield, gloves, ring, and wait. And that, does that have a, it's got a crafting on a stick slot? So that's feet. Oh my goodness, there are so many of these. I, let's make that not visible anymore. How in the, why are there so many slots and there are also just these two and that's not the same even if some of the icons look similar. But actually the glove icon is slightly different because it's got those cuffs whereas the artifacts one does not have the cuffs so I could be wearing Three glove items at once between all of those mods. Oh my goodness. And oh, we're... Permanent jump boost. That could also be pretty useful. I... I like where things are going right now. I like this. Let's put in rock hod over there and... Put in more tiny charcoal. And oh, right, because it's cool. This is charcoal and... Wait, wait, what? So that and then... We only put one in, so... Oh my goodness, I messed that up badly. We're gonna need... Put in one tiny coal to salvage the last one, so... Scuffed as normal, let's actually... Eat. In order to avoid death. Come on, come on, give me health regeneration. Well, not yet. Who? Eaten, assisted, and adding hearts. Oh, so... Right, right, I haven't eaten yet. What does it taste like? And... Not nourishing enough to improve your health. When adding hearts is in, adding via spice of life, presumably. But let's just take that food. And guess who's back at full health now? Me. Oh, but wait, what? I, I, I maybe. I didn't even. I forgot that was rock on. I probably need to be taken out back and shot. So we can wait for our remaining pieces of cod to cook and. Should be good. I don't think... That might actually... I think there's enough. One unit of heat, but I think that needs to get consumed, too. Tiny coal, and yep, it did need to be consumed. 
So there we have it, and now we get the rest of that card. We should put some of this coal back in, and it's so where a tiny coal will go. All right. Let's actually replenish a bit. Oh, there was, right, there was more iron in here. Where do I, I should use the ore hammer a bit. Let's check how much. Contents, contents, ore hammer, and the iron, raw iron. I'll just put that in there to cook in a bit. But I really gotta figure out a better organizing scheme. Uh, smoker, right, but smoker is... I should be using that for my food. I literally took that smoker up, then made food, and didn't use the smoker. Am I cooked? Well, the food wasn't. Well, eventually it was, but it took longer than it should have. Put a smithing table down here, though. It, oh, smithing temple. It, right, because that's, that's a new form. I forgot about that, but... It is interesting that both of those are carbon and mine can. Well, all right. I right. Let's take some coal and go back down. The main thing is... Need our iron pick. And of course we need to put our bed down. We spawn point set and my greatest fear now arguably a bit alleviated. That's good. Okay. I it should be a bit cooler now that it's night. What can I do with this amaranth? Can I eat that? I don't think I can do much of anything without a flame rain. Crafting and this right. Which is cake. Can't eat it straight. Harvesting drone with any forge crop. Croptopia, any forge crop. Quintery upgrade. And okay. Thermal cultivation is. The only way to make it a wishes food cake is the amaranth. There's no way it just gives you random potion effects when you eat it. That would make sense to me. Sesame. Sesame seeds and. Oh, oh. 89 out of 200 grains. Time by, huh, a cucumber. And I can't even eat that straight. It's surprising to me. Let's plant a bit more sesame, maybe? Uh, it's, I need to expand a little. So we got a strawberry. Fields forever. And it also, okay, not nourishing enough to improve health. More hemp. It, I wonder how I'm going to make it work when I want to... Start automating this stuff. And okay, the melon is, the melon is ready. The melons are being produced. It's exciting. First, what I should do is put down some of the sugar cane around here. I definitely need to uh, maintain some things in the sense of actually add more water if I'm going to be using the corners to grow sugar cane specifically, which I think I will, depending on how much paper I need for other uses. I would imagine that. Most of the magic mods, not just ours Nouveau, are going to want at least a little bit of paper, but... We found a nice base far away enough that people should not be able to easily find me, even if they knew my cord somehow, and... Industrial hemp. Let's put that away. Got a source of food going. Well, we got a basic farm started with all sorts of random garbage crops, but... That essence is going to be interesting. What I could really do now, if I really wanted to, was would be make every step of that mine part be too high so that other people would not be able to get back up. But I would be able to, and it would actually also presumably be a bit more efficient. Well, the big thing is, eventually it could be cool to replace it with stairs. The main issue is that I don't have step assist, even with that jump boost. So I'm still jumping and that's costing hunger. So in theory, actually making it two high drops would add efficiency. At least right now, because I do have to jump anyway. But that's stuff to think about later. Amaranth and which is going to go in. We can put this all in here then. Uh, there is a lot. So we got our iron pickaxe. But actually, let's turn it into a silent gear iron pick. Oh, well... It depends, because that would not be craftable into a pick for... Oh, I... That was accidental. I may have been an idiot. I was definitely an idiot. It is not... It's got slightly different shading. But it was only really the pickaxe that looked all that different, and that looks rather different. 
Flexible malleable magnetic. Hmm. Well, I at least this won't break now. And I'll just be able to repair it when it hits zero after going back up topside. That is an option, I suppose. So let's go back down to where it was before. I've got my armor now, I've got my crafting on a stick. The ability to craft one more pickaxe if it absolutely comes down to it and the desire to get some gold so I can get if I got started in Ars Nouveau today, that would be a good place to end things. Hmm. I could be satisfied with that in the way of progress, but that funky endermint does seem to be around here. That's just a pretzel rod in my mouth. In case certain parties were interested in finding out. And oh, a bat. It's the bat. Oh, I not only did I mess that up, I... Oh, and just place those down. That's cute. Got a lot of torches, so... Let's continue on our merry way and... Shale. What would be really nice is if they gave me golden nuggets. It won't happen. Hmm. I... Okay, so there's no way to place... No, there is a way to place under. Nice. That is very, very useful. Let's continue our escapades, but... Oh, but if it places on there, you can't actually reach it that way. Well, whatever. Here is our staircase up from there. Let's put down some more torches. Oh, this is... Oh, no, that's just another one. Okay. There's a loot barrel, a loot chest, and a... Well, I see a skeleton over there. That is not something that makes me particularly happy. Let's continue lighting up this cave. Eventually, I wonder if Conjure Mage Light will work with permanency like it does at base. My hunch is that there hasn't been a lot of change to functionality of Ars Nouveau, mod, Ars Nouveau spells in this mod pack, but how are you withering me, I swear? Why are you withering me? Whatever. Just in case, and we're bleeding and withered because they really do hate us. They really do hate us here. So, fingers crossed, give us some gold. Give us some gold. Go for the gold. Fletching table and another smoker. Not bad. Well, frankly, that's bad for your health. Oh, and TNT under there. I, well, let's mine that first because odds are that might be trapped. It's good I checked, so. Oh, X marks the spot and we did it. We got raw gold. This is incredible. Let's own an iron pickaxe, cross necklace, link of invincibility after taking damage, and a socket apotheosis item. This is, can we, yep, extract. Apothic affixes! Nice, let's take another bed. That could be useful for other people eventually, maybe, and a loot barrel and just bones. That's not bad, actually. Another campfire, sure. Leaver, I could actually, well, I would need flint and steel to light that. Presumably is the thing. Oh, now we have redstone. I... I think this means I can make that rice cooker. That... <laughs> we may be in... We may be in the rice business. Yeah, I can definitely make that rice cooker. It... That... Though to be fair, I do have about... 42 minutes left in me. But... Making a rice cooker would be... Just a chef's kiss emoji. Not chef ki not chef's kiss emoji, but so will this get me? It's a sticks. Okay. Break these urns and emeralds, iron, bones, copper, and then okay, just ash, not gunpowder. What was that? Hmm. Continue looking. I. Hmm. <laughs> Honestly, I can just teleport back. I should. Well, first what I should do is light up this cave so that things cannot spawn when I inevitably come back to mine more of its riches. And we are not all that far down. Uranonite or poor. It's not very. That's not a very nice thing to say about it. 
but just make sure that nothing is going to spawn in this cave. That light level indicator is one of the most useful features I've ever seen in a mod pack. I didn't even know it was a thing mod packs could do. And pitcher plants are base? Pitcher plants are base game? Can you do anything with them? Let me see. Pitcher plants. Pitcher plant can be now to be added to a flower pot and you can make upgrade baby. Bay baby. Okay. Cyan die a gate pearl gateways to eternity. Summons summons animals. Okay. Goddess statue can be made with Can't really make it. You have to find it in a village and then take it back, but it won't be until I can actually make stuff with get. Oh, spirit orbs, that, that all be, will be all that useful. And is this generating? Is the issue that's generating? There's bamboo in this cave. I might need to do another bowl of ice. It's getting around that time. And since things are starting to chug a little, so... Well, one big thing is that there are two bowls that I use for ice. One slightly bigger than the other, which... Well, actually, a small difference in size can make a huge difference in capacity. Well, small difference in radius can make a huge difference in capacity, but I think might want to get another bowl of ice. Well, my inventory is full. That is interesting. We can throw away this thing of limestone. And oh, there was a bat as well as... What kind of seeds are those? Well, shale and... I guess the flax seeds are marginally more useful, but... Let's just... Yeah, let's light this cave up. This cave is absolutely massive. Okay, well... Let's go up topside and... We have not that much gold, but it's good stuff. Always nice to get a little bit more gold and... Maybe a Minecraft bed to place next to my own. It said, I... I wonder if you can... Can you die a bed after it's already been crafted? Let me see. That means... Okay, you can re-die a bed. That's good. Let's take to this with the ore hammer. And, oh, right, we should equip this cross necklace in our... That will not go over there because it goes in... Wait. Moa skins? Oh, for ether! Ether! Those are ether artifacts. For ether baubles and... Necklace, necklace, necklace. There we go. And... Actually, actually... This is fun. I like having this show. <laughs> makes me look <laughs> it it's part of the beginning of my honorary Filipino arc so let's break this down and make a scrubbing table get started with Ars Nouveau get started with sushi mod 2 steam some rice let's take that ore hammer break that down to gold dust and put that with the tiny coal Oh, we got some of that, so... Wait. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Oh, I could just craft more tiny coal. That's right. Let's make a bunch of tiny coal. Put that in here, and... Let's get that gold dust started. So presumably two of those should make the pressure point I need for... Actually, I could make... Some pistons to make that rice cooker. I think I will. But while this smelts, I will go and get a third and final bowl of ice water because this world hates me and wants to see me suffer. I'll be right back.
back. I also got a little towel so that I could... Oh my goodness, stepped on my headphone cable. Because there was condensation underneath the... Oh, I got our gold for the rice cooker. Condensation underneath the bowl that was going on the floor, and I wanted to prevent that from potentially causing issues, so... Make our weighted pressure plate, and not like that. Weighted, light weighted pressure plate, and let's make some nuggets, and then should be able to make my magic table. Which would logs, which means lots of them. Archwood slab. Let me see. Where's the archwood? I got so many. There we go, flashing archwood, which is lightning element. And then we can make some slabs. And this should be what I need for my magic table. Oh, a wooden plate and... Are those the illagers I hear? Got our scribes table and... Let's put this down, right over here. I... Huh? Okay, like that. Cool. Which means... An, oh, the intersection of that with the torch is kind of stupid looking. That's a bit better. So now we can use the tools we've got to make some fun glyphs. But I need to make another pickaxe first. Because of course I do. There is... I suppose I probably need to make more iron. That's right there, but I hear... There's somebody right outside. Let's give them the fight of their life. And... It sounds like... Yep, it's an illager. I could actually make a shield right now. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. You, oh, wow, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Well, actually, they're killing each other. That's good for me. I, oh, my goodness. I, oh, please, please. Uh, oh, we earned a level in GUI to increase one of your perks. Much of death increased. I... Right, chance of finding special items. Structure with lost tablets. Chance on the undead. That's always a good one. Okay, cool. That... I was a little scuffed, and... Oh, did they drop iron? Or did I get that for myself? I don't know. Either way, we got that. We can make... This an oh, miniature red heart. That would be... Bobbly heart canisters in that... Heart amulet. And ring, ring, ring. Where does... Oh, but the miniature red heart, I need to actually make it into a wearable. And there are more of them. Miniature Red Heart. Can make Miniature End Portal. Miniature Green Heart and... Now into a Heart Amulet. Right click to open with Glass and String. Bobbly Heart Canisters. Right click to open and Blue Heart Canister into a Vitality Blade. It's an interesting idea, though I doubt it would be incredibly good. So I, I should look into that before I actually do anything with it. But increasing health is going to be interesting. We've only got crossbows. Inferium. Pillager Charm Fragment. Huh. Either way, the idea right now is definitely going to be make that rice cooker, which would need redstone, cobblestone, and six iron per... Three iron per, so let's craft myself some... Pistons. Okay. And this should ensure... Wait, no, it was... Right, there's wood in there somewhere. What is... I can't believe I forgot the piston recipe. That's... Okay, iron in the middle. Cobblestone and three wood. So actually, just one iron. That's better. Where is my... I guess I'll use mahogany for this. Should be good. Yeah, we should have more than enough now. I did not mean to do that. That's what I got for having <sighs> torches in the right hand. One, two, three, four, then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten steps. And then it's ice cooker, ice cooker takes. Does it need power? Well, furnace, redstone, pressure plate, and this should be good. Furnace. Wait, it only needed 
Wait. So I needed pistons. I... There was something I needed multiple pistons to craft, but I... I know I needed them for something. Piston. Something had to be compressed. Two pistons needed to compress into... It wasn't this, obviously. That's Draconic Evolution, which is beyond me by a country mile. That's actually pretty cool. But this is... Oh, right, this... No, wait. Water condensator? Pity... Pity machine frame. It's insulting. This sewage composter. So a lot of them need... Industrial for going needs a lot of pistons. Machine frames. Well, I... Well, it's not like I spent too much. Big thing is it's time to make tools for some of these. Oh, what I do need is a furnace. Right, there we go. Furnace. Pressure plate, redstone, and iron for our rice cooker. Yay. Okay. Where can I put, where should I put the rice cooker? Just put it on the ground. It's big enough. And then fluid and... So how am I going to operate this rice cooker? Just see, check out normal rice recipes. If I had that book, it'd be nice, but I would need to go pretty far to get any kelp, I think. So, steamed rice in a, well, rice within a rice cooker. A rice cooker. Cooked rice and some kind of fuel and water in buckets. Cooked rice and... Oh, it's actually disgusting. Oh, all right. So I can't actually use that yet. That excites me to no end. So in that case, I think the only real thing left to do would be make a book with some paper. You can make some canvas, which is nice. And that's gotten pretty high up. That's good. Just keep some of that going, but yeah, we can redistribute between there now that we have some more. I definitely need to put in some water over here, but putting water here would just be for aesthetics at least at first. So I can use this as more sugarcane farming space eventually. Oh, but I could also farm sushi go crafting rice in the water wells for maximum efficient use of space. I may be getting a little carried away. Can I? And that will surface. So then, first I need an actual bucket, but let's unearth a little bit of these and put some stuff in. I, this of course will pale in comparison to what I'll be able to do once I have an actual automated farm, but for now I can try to make a maximum efficient use of space and lots of melons. So the question is just, of course, what can I really do with melon? We'll see. Then, right, we dig down and use the dirt we just picked up to replace. Take some of that too. Dirt. Dirt. Thanks. Then we take that out as well. And just replace some of that. Mine's in the cobble, and of course we need water now, or at least the bucket. And then I can add more rice. Oh, right, mature wasabi, mature amaranth, mature cucumber, mature strawberries, and more wasabi, radish, and finally we got wheat. Okay, we took this long. I should be growing a lot of wheat, I would say. And multiple kinds of rice. We can weave that, mostly. Got all the things I should probably be putting away right now. But, so I find two buckets. May as well fill them now, just in case I can't fill them down there all that effectively. Oh, that's right, because we had too many things in our gosh darn inventory. Classic. Let's put in most of these crops, which should be here probably mostly in the other spots, so... That bookworm would be really, really nice. So I figure out how to make the thing work. Okay. Got that bucket, which of course does not stack. It'd be fun if filled buckets could stack, like unfilled do, but 
I'm sure there are reasons, trademark. Okay. So can I take water from there? I cannot take water from there is the thing. So I... Wait. I Maybe it's a torch issue. Yeah, it's just an issue with the stupid torch. Can I take it from... No, not from the water walking block, but... That was weird graphical, weird graphical glitch just now. Use this as a way to get more water in there. Yeah, depending on whether I'm looking at the rice or... Pointing at the rice or pointing at the... I guess it did not glitch out that time. That is nice, but still very, very strange. Let's go over it and fill up the last couple of water wells. And Okay, the glitch did happen that time. No, really, I wonder why that is. Come on. Okay, yeah, you have to reach into the tiny lip made by the farmland block being an incomplete block. I think exactly it's 15 sixteenths. So it's missing just its top pixel. Seems about right, so let's just put... Actually, the sugar can't... We, well, we could put a couple more down, because that's kind of too. Put that there, get that, and... Now we can do some expansion in a bit, but mostly I... Need to turn this into paper, and then make some canvas. Oh, that's right, I could be harvesting it with a knife, but, eh, whatever. It's not that deep right now. And then, it would be time to make the very first spellbook. We have a sheet of canvas, untouched sheets of clay, that's what Pearl Jam said. Canvas rug if I wanted to, but here's a book, and now we need another pick, and where do I put that iron shovel? It's right there. And right, I did already made another iron pick, so let's put that in there, that, 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 and novice spell book! I'm breaking 10 because, yeah, the best thing you do with that is probably just get the brain glyph. So now, now, we can try to make, where's break? Break effects, underfoot, effects, break should be, interact, ignite. Oh, but what do I need? Fell, evaporate. That oh, would be good. That needs diamond. Break and... Oh, we already have break. That's awesome. So, oh, there are limits to... Oh, but no, that limits that. So how do I make a spell then? All glyphs, all glyphs. Oh, right, because it shows all these. And ours is elemental, so they're separated. Ones from different mods are all on their own deal. Filter. Filter. Stops from resolving unless it targets an aquatic creature, so it's all these filter options. That's cool. But Ours Elemental also has more glyphs, I believe, but yeah, some of them are in their mana bubble for a shield, and we've got more lightning abilities, if I recall correctly, too. Wind Shear, Tier 3, Boink, and that takes Icy. Oh, so any kind of Ender Pearl? Yeah, any kind of Ender Pearl. That's a good one. Glide. Mental life link in that. Sever ending on both sides. Zelt you shared. Any healing will be shared for you, so it's only beneficial to you. Okay. Anything else from ours elemental. So those are mixed in, but these are. Oh, I guess because the filters are separate from shapes, deliveries, and effects. That's interesting. And poison spores. That. Oh, oh, only damage poison or affected by hunger ends. Is there a way to just deal poison then, or... Small into health, magic and exhaustion, and saturation of hunger and that. It's very d and Spike of dripstone and that. Augmented, wider, taller, longer, or... It's a cool idea. So, and venom and that. Oh, so it's poison it takes. Augmented spider eye and a... Suspicious stew and a poisonous potato. It makes stew too. But a poisonous potato, well, if I recall correctly, there is a crafting recipe now, so you can make that instead of having to randomly grab them. But the big thing is, I can use that, and yep, I, rem I remember, I remember the controls. Let's just see what the effects are. Break and harm. Touch, break. And that. Spell name. Pickaxe. We've done it. We've done it. 
So base, it's iron, right? Let me just check. Base, it's F shift. Average hardness, average? Amplified increased hard hardness level with shears instead of a pickaxe, which used to be silk touch. Used to be able to simulate silk touch, but that was overpowered. Mental earth, elemental earth. Form, harm, that. That we can take. We can use a projectile, sure. Magic missile. And given that damage in this mod pack is not as ridiculous as it is in other mod packs. Let's go for preset orange. There we go. Oh, but that color picker for all of them, or? Let me just check. Make sure. Arm projectile. I guess I could test it on lead to see if it mines it. I don't need a lead all that much, so I could afford to have it kind of mess up. It's orange, save. Is this. Okay, so save all, make them all orange, no familiars. Oh, okay, well, I did not actually mean to do that. Let's put some stuff back. That was rather nice. No configurable, so that configures that specifically. Okay, let me see. Sounds, settings, and rewards. Make the lights turned off. Sounds and default. We'll take that. Tempestry Fire Gaia. Oh, right, because Tempestry Fire Gaia presumably ours elemental. Let's see. Discord. Oh, it's just their own Discord. Okay. Let's just see. That's right, space. And there we are. This could be pretty useful, but it seems a lot of mana, so we should try to make more glyphs in that case. I... Wait. Huh? It lagged a little. Maybe we weren't close enough, but that... Underfoot with a pressure plate and iron boots, arc projectile, and homing projectile. Oh, that takes a nether star. Okay. Hmm. Players are only augmented by sensitive, and that probably be good. The idea would be, when I really get into fights, homing projectile, snare, and then reset. Huh. Original target changed by previous effect. Place blocks, original location. Huh. Bypass combination, duplication limits, that's interesting, but tough. Block shaping attempt to place itself immediately, but the main thing is that amethyst would be what I'd really want and need to make more items in here to make some of the essences and source gems, but it'll take a bit. We'll see what happens. Let's put away most of this stuff. Piston, mahogany, and Really most of that and buckets can go in here. I oh, I gotta make a storage basement with a labeled chest. Either way, this we should check to see if oh, wrong button again. See if this can break at an iron level or at a different level from that. But either way, we're somewhat good where we are. We'll figure this out. We test this out on lead. Well, it doesn't say that we can break it because it's not a pickaxe. It just mimics the pickaxe effect. So this takes... And yep, it's an iron pickaxe. So, And that's... Yep, we're, we're good. It, once we get an actual better pickaxe, we'll probably be a little bit different. But for now, we're in a good position. And it's so fast, too. The only thing we have to wait for is mana regeneration. Which, well, is a limit, but still. I, as this takes a while, this is instant. I am happy about this one. We are really, really cooking. Let's take all this silver and white over white. Oh, it's him. It's Jack. Hello. Okay. Continue and oh, we got Lapis in here. Still hear that Enderman. Hmm. Torch back on. So we could put it in here, I suppose. Now the spell book, silver ore, iron ore. That is nice to get. But Lapis, Lapis, and oh, that is hilariously complicated as a chemical formula. <laughs> that. 
Yeah, every single piece is 12 of that, and so that could be very, very nice for a mine camp, presumably, because it's such a complicated compound. I like that. I'm down with that. So this is just one single iron atom per. Presumably, maybe they differentiate how many units of an element you get based on how complicated it was originally, but still, it's very, very silly. And now we're mining with power. It... I wonder if other people are using Ars Nouveau. They should be. I'm not going to tell them. Just... Hmm. Let's keep myself muted on... Discord... In case... People pop in. It... They're not supposed to know about my evil plan. They're supposed to know that I have plans. They're not supposed to know what they are. Oh, but right, we don't have a sword anymore, which means... I wonder if... Okay, so it did seem to take damage, but... There's so many caves around that it cannot exactly... I cannot exactly tell... Which... One it ends up in, so... The nice thing is that we can actually jump mine... Pretty easily now. Given that it's an instant break that does not pay attention to... The height I'm standing at. It's just Salmiac. Yeah, Sal Ammoniac, or as the Icelandic call it, Salmiac is actually used in candy. Has a very distinct taste. Oh well, I only have eight torches. That's not great. What are actually what would it take to cast Conjure Mage Light? What would it need for Oh, but it doesn't show that glyph until I have it. Let me just what if I see all glyphs? Is there a way to do that? There is not a way to do that yet. Let's just go down here and see if I can get some more things in the meantime before I have to build my light overlay on. Okay, now I do. Now I do. Hmm. Let's leave that loot over there. And I guess we can take more silver. I wonder what I'll need it for, but it's nice to have it. I should make a better ore hammer. Osmium in that needs iron, okay. Osmium and iridium are incredibly dense metals, which I'm doing alright. Doing alright. You can pop in VC if you want. I will be off soon. Okay, ten or so minutes. But Let's just check the server that this, well, the Discord for this modded server actually has a channel just for me to stream in, so that other people don't have to hear it if they don't want to. <laughs> they don't have to hear me talking to chat. I'd probably go crazy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Osmium. Osmium. So what will I be able to do? Presumably it's for machinery, because that has an incredibly dense mechanism is complete? Oh, because osmium is for mechanism, I think, specifically. But all the ores is an add-on in this mod pack for this mod pack, which presumably gives raw forms of ores that don't normally have raw forms, because I think in that case, this would normally drop as just regular osmium. Just drop the ingot straight or is an ore block. So, I wonder if I'd be able to process this block with an ore hammer altogether. Probably not. Probably have to break it down first. Or maybe it would just consume more uses. There are a lot of blocks of raw osmium. I guess it makes sense given that, well, actually, if it's a dense metal, then maybe in theory you could get multiple raws from a single block and just find one. Block, maybe, well, whatever. Okay. I, it... Things apparently cannot spawn in there, so I think I'll leave that. But it is awfully convenient to be able to mine with a single tap. Then resonating ore, but I can't mine that yet because I don't have... Oh, expetrified ore. And that is... Oh, expetrified because it's XP. Okay. I can't believe I didn't realize that. So that... Let's put a torch down there. Just to make sure... That's, okay, and that's just some other kind of stone. 
Hmm. Yeah, but amplify, which would require actually getting a diamond pickaxe for, would allow me to. And I hear you. Okay. Just see what happens if I try to magic missile you to death. That. Is it aggroed on me? Because that does count as an attack from me for the sake of aggro and the like, but that was almost definitely a, good, a bad idea because I literally do not have a weapon. Don't even have the stone sword. Fluorite ore. First steps acquire natural mechanism resources. It. So many ores in here. Well, the big thing is just making sure that nothing is a low enough light level for things to spawn in. Other than that, I don't need to be placing down torches, even if it might make things look a little nicer. This is... This is a cave. I'm here for ore. So, oh, rock hopper. I guess... I suppose the one thing I'd really use this for would be ore hammers, but... I'm pretty sure that the smelting glyph is tier 2. It'd be really, really nice to get, but I think it's tier 2. Hmm. Yep, and... Oh, rhyolite. And did that... Okay, it did give it to me. It just made a funny sound. So, I... Other thing is, and that's... Too dark. Okay. And Rhyolite is... I'm not too familiar, but isn't Rhyolite petrified wood? I think it is. Given the sound it makes and the shape. Well, it, that's the kind of thing I should be looking up. Get a bit more iron in here, and... That's a lot of stuff. It... Again, it makes sense that they do it because they kind of have to, but it's nice that so many ores are spawning in here. And that, okay, that takes diamonds. Big question is in prosperi prosperity ore. And there we go. Oh, but fortune would be good, but I need rabbit's feet to increase yield from these raw ores. But for now, we can get a bunch of stuff and maybe start working on machinery. The big thing is I need to excavate more area. That said, the fact that I can insta-break is incredibly useful, and it, again, arguably a bit overpowered. So I... Ah, now I can take that in gold nuggets. Should those over there start to break these and get what's inside? And is that more gold nuggets? Either way, those prosperity shorts would be good. We get sort of magical architect... Mag magical agriculture. There's more torches, actually. Yeah, a lot more torches. Which would mean being able to farm a lot of these materials by just, well, farming. Which would be nice. Certainly make a number of things less complicated. Mm -hmm. Let's just, yep, yeah, take advantage of being able to jump two blocks high. It, those artifacts legitimately are very, very cool. The big question is, again, just how would I get Conjure Mage Light? So once I've gotten Conjure Mage Light... I'll be able to just cast night vision on myself and then be able to see just fine even without torches. And then it would truly... The only thing that would matter would be spawn light level. And I would not need to bother with anything else. But copper ore, copper ore. And then... This is okay, more sulfur. I... I need to look into how I get started with mine can. Oh, well, I did not intend to fall. Mine Camp, let's check those quests. Does Mine Camp have a quest area? Oh my goodness. Greg Tech. That's awful. Hmm. Greg Tech is the infamous one. Safety, please read. GT energy units. Energy units slash T. Naturally be in EO or power convert to EO. More on that later. Hmm. Not to call you out, but Yuzu, what prompted the name of Yuzu? Do you just like the fruit? It's legitimate. It's good. Petrified experience and more salmiac, but... Right, right, I need sand to make a book for... Theurgy, theurgy, okay. That would be nice. Oh, oh, well... I have... created usernames through worse reasons... I, I'm pretty sure, though I can't say for sure, that I ended up accidentally naming myself after a skill tree in Sekiro. Oh, I, oh, so, 
Was that the character from that comms document you sent me? Genshin OC? What element? That's what I want. What element do you think it would be? It's always a fun question to ask people who care. It is starting to lag a little. Hmm. Oh, come on. Let's... Oh, and it's... My inventory is full. That... Hmm. What can I part with? I could get this. Oh, okay, so... Fontaine Goro. That... Cool, but I should throw either Rhyolite. That's an idea. By the way, we've got so much that I do need to head up topside again. It... It's been a remarkably successful excursion. But... Question is where I'm going to get diamonds. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Canonically a friend of Goro. Hmm. Can I can't reach that. I don't want to tower up to it right now. What is what that is? I don't think it's anything. Oh, it's Oh, it's more lead ore. Hmm. Interesting. So did he have a Miss Hina form too? <laughs> You, maybe you don't have to answer that question. Let's get some sand and make our theurgy book. Let's just teleport back up top. And here's... Oh, right, because it pushes me in there because I set it in here. That's right. Let's actually... Break that down and put it in a... less ridiculous location, then. Come on, come on. Over there, there we go, and it... Wouldn't interfere with the torch, but the torch isn't even there anymore. And we we need more chess. We definitely need more chess. See what can actually go in and get cleared out. This is something. Oh, mail delivery. It Do you know do you know Paper Mario? Because that actually reminds me a bit of Paracarry. Just the fact that the mailman who shows up at the start of the game ends up becoming a playable partner. Mm, prosperity, prosperity. Yeah, I... I played the first and third Paper Mario games. Never got around to the second, even though I actually had it on Game Gear. But... My question is... What and where next? I should probably check some of the other... Okay, smelt would be... Smelt level 2. Smelt is... Yeah, smelt is level 2, and I need essences for that as well. So emeralds and amethyst would both be... Wait, to get source gems, but I'm liking... Dawncraft, emeralds are not exactly easy to come by. Oh, oh, so he's a Steambird Paperboy specific... Oh, that's cool. I like that. So he had an existing position in the world. Okay. Here's the real question. For all the marbles. Did you think he was a... F did you think he was a 4 star or a 5 star? Well... Hmm... A number of... Well... I wonder where Wilden... Well, yeah, if he was going to be kind of Fontaine Goro, it would make sense. Okay, I'm going to go and make... Get some sand for that theurgy book real quick, but... I've kind of gone for as long as I like to go this late, so I think I'll be winding down things. It was nice for you to stay and chat. I'm excited to see where, well, I know, not to bore your cover, see where the comm stuff goes. It'll be cool to just really get things started. Oh, and a mystical botania flower. Oh, oh, and other old OC, sky beginning. So far from the world, so that's our starting flower. Gray does fit me. Let's get a little bit of sand. Black sand will work too. Oh, a little ravine. But yeah, that cave is massive. Wonder how I might be able to find my way down to diamond level, presumably, hopefully. Got a tangerine seashell. Let's get a bit of sand, which is all the way over there. Okay. My question is, is this... Tall seagrass. Can I find any kelp anywhere? And I actually put my food away. That's not good. Saltpeter or oh, saltpeter. Oh, so I could use that for gunpowder. That's exciting. I should probably actually take some of that. Let's go down there. 
Saltpeter right, because saltpeter is from riverbeds. Oh, and salt, 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 okay. That's nice. Salt dust, saltpeter. Let's do this fast before I start dying. Get a bunch of salt. Okay. So we got saltpeter and salt, which is saltpeter. You know, Peter, catch with stone, basically. Salt rock, not rock salt, but. Actually, I don't think saltpeter is rock salt. Won't give more FPS. Salt in the depths of nearby rivers. That was... What did I just get? Is that... Oh, regular salt in addition to... So it drops food salt and other kinds of salt. Well, that was convenient. Okay, so this floats. The rest is not. Hmm. So how did your other OC's crystallized kit work? If you had that much kit stuff thought out. That's cool. I like that. Let's take a bit of... I did not mean to get that dirt. I actually could get dirt from the river, too, I suppose. So let's... Well, we took some damage from drowning. And drowning makes you bleed. How does drowning make you bleed? That... I mean, I guess you could maybe be coughing up blood, but that's still ridiculous. Okay, cool. Let's take the rest of that and... Seashell, seashell, and by the seashore. It's a dirt river. So... And we take that and go back up. Oh, okay, so sort of charges up shots via collecting crystals. I really do enjoy Navia's kit, so that's legitimate. I like that. Arms of plenty, and, well, I... If I had a bucket right now, I'd make that water nicer. Whatever. Let's just go back inside, craft another book, and that should be all for today. So, did they end up more AoE, or still also sort of a shotgun blast? I... It's interesting, because it's possible that they might be, after all these years, for better or worse, finally power creeping Kaza. Okay, crowd control. Yellow, yellow dog. Okay, more damage to the bigger... Oh, so their damage scaled off of crystallized shield HP. That's a really, really cool idea. So what they also, let me guess, they also scaled with, it was sort of total shield HP including shield strength, so it also included, so they were intended to be run with retracing bolide or something. Oh, wild onion. There were onions here. Oh, okay. I... Oh, and they're by the aliens, because onions are a kind of allium, scientifically. I like that. So what do you have to trade? Didn't even check. Arcane Essence, Legendary Ink, Legendary Scrolls. Half Thunder Scroll, Bamboo Jungle. That... What does this guy sell? Is this it? This is it. Okay. Arcane Essence. Huh. Yeah, but non-animo crowd control is always interesting. Shiros kind of has that, as you probably know, but not really, really. I... Where is my... Got a good amount of straw. Let's... Make more canvas. Make more paper. Oh, okay, okay. Makes sense. Well, to be fair, this is copium. Navia can't, I mean, Ningguang can run Navia's set. It's just a joke that writes itself. So let's put down more of this. Should definitely get started with mine cam. Oh, I think that might have been what I made the pistons for, possibly. But let's make Theurgy Book. The next time I think I will get some chemistry. Oh, oh okay, okay. So strengthening the effect of crystallize, but... Wait, wait, so... More damage with the bigger crystallized shield. Oh, so it just was more about using crystallized shields as your sole source of defense and sustain. That's interesting, but honestly, I like the idea. It is interesting that we've gone this long with a character without a character that doesn't do, that doesn't have any actual scaling from shield strength. And to be fair, the only way to really boost shield strength would be Zhongli, Fortify Passive, and 
retracing bowline the punt. What it makes me think is, given that Nuviet and Fiorina work together, I think if we ever got Azja, which he would definitely have to use that buff model if we hopefully ever get that buff model. He would have to use Azja and just, those were the days. He's in the nether? I mean, to be fair, I'm not all that far away myself, actually. I just need diamond. They've been on this a lot more often than I have. Let's make that theurgy book real quick. Do some fun magic. Theurgy. Hermetica. In-game god for theurgy. Oh, okay. Not a single. Warped wood. He's making a wooden castle. I like that. About this work. And alchemy is the work. Brightest Mercury Flux. Tools of the trade. Hermetica. Transformation Matter of Mind. Show experiences, thoughts, research, and notes. Save matter, subject matter, all eyes. Triple Lady God. Canceled Alchemist. Quiqui's Discord server. Word of Alchemy. Theurgy. Classical Alchemy. Transformation. Divination. Rods. Finding resources easier. Find, replicate, transform. Craft devices and equipment to aid in endeavors. Reason logic, not superstition or magic. Careful observation, record keeping, rigor testing, no supernatural powers, harsh natural forces. Nation to find ores or refining item transformation. Item transformation, weapons, equipment, and devices in the future, but not yet. Odds, Spagyrix. Well, I. Incubating iron. Incubating iron. Ah, uh, okay. Not working well. Oh, okay, so he did have scaling damage with the crystallized shields itself. Okay. What other, other glyphs can I make this early on? That's why I like Arlecchino a lot. The fact that her best team does not really include any hard sustain, especially for her since she can't be externally healed. Propagate, propagate homing. Remainder into a homing projectile. Shoot it from where it lands. That's crazy. It's gonna aim it and then home in. Hmm. Oh, craft. Well, that, that's a decent. I should definitely try to level some of these, but a lantern. And that is good. I should take that. Need a lantern, which. Lantern and a torch. Lantern. Choirs just. Our nuggets around torch. You can make that real quick, and I did not mean to do that. That was very, very foolish of me. That's there, so... Put that down. Make a lantern. Make mage light, and then I don't need torches anymore. Dawncraft actually removed that spell. Well, actually... Oh, and night, yeah, night vision. They didn't remove it, but they made it pretty useless, so... Alright, let's make that, and... Actually, let me see. Does it require a torch and a lantern, or a torch or a lantern? Let's try that. Oh, but it... Conjure Mage Light. That items as they appear above, too. Complete crafting. Remaining items on the table, so I do need the lantern, too. Okay. Make that real quick. Iron and... Oh my goodness, I messed that up. There we go. Lantern and... Let's get our glyph. And so, yeah, that was a nice way to close things off. Contra Mage Light, and let's make a couple of spells. Torch. Projectile. Contra Mage Light. And that. Right. Amplify, but we don't have Amplify yet. Kessin herself. Receive that, and for self. Night Vision. Potion. <laughs> okay. And yeah, well, that does mean. Let's see, it's daytime. Right, since he's in the nether, we can shuffle. Not much of an issue, but we don't have extend time, so we would have to keep doing that. Let's actually try Conjure Mage, Mage Light real quick and. Ah, okay, and you can just break it. Oh, well, there we go, and these are fun. These are a lot of fun, too. Honestly, I... Well, since I don't have... Night vision, I... And it's basically a torch. 
Well, in that case, a good deal was accomplished today. I think I will hop off. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. We will figure out how best to make time slots work in the future. Sound again.